What is up everybody? Welcome to Drago Gaming. Today we're going to try to get into the end game for Moons of Ardan. Or Ardan. I don't know if I'm mispronouncing it. You can definitely let me know. But if you noticed last game, we uh we had an emergency save. Right there we had an emergency save. Um Our population as you can see it was it was pretty good. We were starting to explore other planet trees and Starting to get towards the end game, hopefully. I believe it was tier three we were going for, but today we are trying to shoot for the end game, which is either tier four or tier five. But like I said, it froze and we were not getting no clothes for some reason. I talked to the developers and it looks like it is fixed. See the uh, clothes, it just went straight back up on resources. And I believe we can click it right there. Yep. See, we had plenty of people to transport it. I mean, trust me, I was, I, I had a plenty of warehouses here. Problem was, is right here, we were one out of five. I mean, five out of five. And it just would not transport. So therefore, our clothes went down, population about dropped. Not so good. So any of you guys who are first tuning in, we're going to show you exactly where we started off. Put it back how the plant was. We started off with a nice little city center and uh, got a little bit of housing right here. Yep. And then some, uh, ooh, yep, we're still turned right. We got some food going on back here. Um, this, the water collector, that's why. I'm a little messed up because of the way the, the planets keep spinning. <laughs> you can spin, spin the planet however you like. But you definitely have to have gray water and food and you can't just drink bad water so you also have a water purifier we know it takes two water collectors for one water purifier based off of how much this makes the good thing is it don't take anybody to run it like this it takes five or three people it says then I also need somebody to transport that's four these things they just need somebody to transport and that's it one and done kind of like food as soon as it's ready boom it's gone So after that, we ended up getting into a little bit of tree planting right here, as you can see. We also got into the mines a little bit, and a little bit into the tier two. So this little quarry, it makes rock. Rock does a lot of things. It, it runs a lot of things. I mean, right there, actually doesn't. Then we got a little, a nice little plant right there. You get that, and then bio crushers that helps create, you know, bio films. But yeah, our planet is definitely coming along. Now, if I believe right, this is Saurus. That was our small planet, and that's actually now where we started. <laughs> I also might show you why I'm a little messed up. But this is where we first started. Once again, food, this. Lots of quarries, lots of everything. I was a little confused. I was on that last planet. We just got into that, so I'll explain that right here. Um, before I do that, you notice all the trees? I got a lot of trees, and look, I mean, the lumber? You can't even get it home. I have so much lumber, they can't even get to it. So, you might ask, why do I have so many trees? Well, if you look on this planet, look at the uh, pollution level, just barely up. It says our pollution is 5,209. Our pollution, like the thing that gets rid of the pollution, is 6,700. We're way over. So our moon pollution level is going down to almost practically zero. And big thanks, if you've seen, it says from trees, they're getting 3,000 of it. And then we also have scrubbers for pollution, and that's getting rid of 3,600 of it. Quite a bit. Pollution block doing pretty good. Um, so yes, that being said, you just slowly keep upgrading. I mean, here's two pollution blocks right here, right in front of a highly pollution area. And maybe that's how I should have done it, because there goes two there working. Apparently, there's two here working, but these four or five. It doesn't say that they're doing anything. They're not blocking. I don't know. Not 100% on it. 
one thing we're going to want to get into, like I said, is tier three. Now, if you look, where was it? Right here, top right. It's a pretty cool looking dude with sunglasses. We don't want the, the guy with the regular glasses like I got. You don't want those nerd glass people. No, you want the cool dude with the shades. That's exactly what you gotta do. So like I was saying earlier, this thing right here allows us to travel to different planets. And this is what launches the spaceship. This is what makes the spaceship. That's just my city center, so that way I can build it out here in nowhere. And then this is our plan control mission. So this is where we tell him to launch it. And that thing makes, you know, the spaceships to be launched. You need all three of them. So, like I said, we end up launching into space and getting to, I believe, this planet. I'll say it's going to let me select. This planet, we haven't discovered any other way to get rid of pollution besides trees. Which, we're just, you know, we just got built pretty good. Wow, is that population nuts? I'm trying to remember what I was planning here. I mean, man, we got a little population huts and trees all over. Okay, anyway. Now these guys, if I'm sure, they have not discovered level 2 yet. Which is okay. We should have made a little spot. Yep, there it is. Close, just like the other one. It takes five of these textile farms to be able to run one of these fabric weavers. Okay, so it takes five of these small ones to run one of these, okay? Now it takes two of these fabric weavers to run one clothes factory, inefficient when it comes to supply and demand. And by that, I mean like material, what they need. These guys need five fabrics to make two and a half. Well, these guys only make one. You know, I mean, he needs five. That's why you get the five to one ratio. And then this guy only makes two and a half to what this guy needs five of. So that's how you get two to one. So five to two, two to one is your ratios. If you ever wanted to try to get this thing down to a science and don't feel like thinking about it, five to two, two to one. So. That being said, we just started our very first little uh, mining expedition, I guess you could say. <laughs> mining expedition. Um, and what we're going to be doing is trying to make hospitals. But this factory says not quite getting what it wants. It, it also wants a bioreactor. Makes sense, right? It wants things. <laughs> Amazing, right? Um, based off our amount of jobs and our population, that's probably why we were over there messing with that. This is 8 to 1, this is 14 to 9, and this should be 14 to 8. Okay, so we are good to upgrade. One thing you always want to look at is your resources. How much more are you making in one day than what they are consuming? By doing that, you're able to, you know, make sure he do they don't consume too much. If they consume too much, I'm sure if you watched any of the previous videos, all this population just jumps. I mean, yeah, no, not jump as in up, jumps as in down. Like, right now, I'm 175, 173 out of 175. What it'll do is say 174 right now, it'll say out of 40. It won't let you have more than X amount of people. It's going to kill off all these extra people. Because think about this hut, this little shelter can do three on just the simple you know, happiness meters. They can do three. So when you get into the tier f two people, you know, the guys with the cool glasses, if you ask me, everybody who has regular glasses know they're the cool ones. But it does um, six, I believe, after you can get the hospital. We haven't quite got to six yet. We have gotten to five because we've never been able to build a hospital. Population starts... Uh, it starts getting a little bit out of control quickly. We're at 184 out of 183. That's good. This guy should be making, okay, biofuel out of wood. That is actually great because we have way too much wood. <laughs> we can definitely have plenty of these. Thing we gotta watch out for is as we always start, we start off with pollution level very low. I believe it's 10% usually pollution level 
but we're going to be polluting it upward until we can uh, get a little scrubbers and all that unlock this thing right here. But we have to have the nine. What is it called? Uh, nano fiber factory going. And then for that, you have lots of rock. This thing right here, it takes a lot of quarries to run things. Because everything wants rocks. Well, that being said, let's let them stack up on material a little bit. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Speed it up just a slight amount. Because we don't want to be here all day while they're making things. There we go. We can now do our first hospital. Well, there we go. Now, from first looks, I don't know what would be best. I think this route would be pretty good because then I can keep going over here for my peeps. And we don't have enough people for it. Why would we? <laughs> All we gotta do is upgrade one shelter. <gasps> But you guys aren't making tools, so we can't upgrade you. Ah, and there he goes. We need rock. You always, always, always need rock. Forever and always. Even when you die, you're going to need some rock. So we're going to need to give ourselves a little bit of population. A little baby bump. Let's double check our resources, as always. 14 out of 7, 14 out of 7, 8 out of 3. Yep, we can bump our resources. I mean, we can use a resource to bump up our population without any worry of them not having enough. And then all the population falling. It falls so quickly, too. If you watch it, once it goes, oh, man, we're, we're out. Zero out of zero, boom, population starts dropping. Population drops, then I don't have enough people to do the jobs I need. To be able to keep the population up so then it drops more and you can see the vicious cycle as it's uh, getting ready to occur. Alright, so we're a few ahead of what we need. We need two we have two hundred and eight jobs. We have about two twenty we'll probably have at the end of this. Or we'll at least stop at two twenty. Boom. Okay, so we got 220. So now we can create another one of these mines. It'll eat through that pretty quickly. There it is. Spin that bad boy around. I think I put the last one upside down the second time through. Oh man, look at that. The way it falls under. That sucks. I was wondering why I wasn't doing it. If you notice those three, those yellow lines when I'm building, oh, let's, those yellow lines is where my city centers are. So right here is a no-go zone. We'll put you right there. If you read that little tidbit, it increases our storage area by five. Where our storage area Increases only by two. Awesome. So now we should have a no, uh, no, no go zones anymore. Also, these people can transport. It's awesome to have multiple city centers. It's it doesn't hurt you to have more than what you need. Okay, so our medical center is doing great. One thing we're going to want to do is slow it down now a little bit. Don't want to speed up too fast. Um, is get our tools. So our, our jobs to uh, population ratio is not good so far. What we got to do is bump it up and see what we have at the end of it. Should have boosted two population each one. Total of four. So now we are breaking even. And we know we still need this guy, which is probably going to be five to ten jobs. And actually, it's just that guy, ain't it? Oh, and this guy is probably going to be five to ten as well. So we want to...
boost our population approximately 10 to 20. Now we can put these down and boost it to 20 instantly. And if we need more, we can always upgrade them. That's kind of what we did last time. It's a great strategy so you don't overwhelm yourself more than what you need to. There we go. Oh, oh, there we go. All right, so population is about 12 more than what we need. Right as we currently, I don't know about after, but how it speaks we need. Put one of you down. That took 20. Whew. We, we, we're, we're about breaking even, and we haven't even put this down. Alright, that takes 10. So that was 10 more than what we were expecting. So now we are 9 under underneath what we need to fully successfully use every job and opportunity. Um, we're almost there. Can we do it? Oh man, 250. Two more. Okay, that'll be two right there. 251. 252. Come on. Oh, wait, yeah, you guys have a hospital. No, you don't. Did not calculate that one. Man, lost the hospital. These people don't have this. Oh, God. So we got to put another hospital down. That's more people. Hold on. We're trying to gain people. So temporarily, we could just put these houses down. Man, that population is just a going. Soon enough, we're going to be putting down for more food and more water on a small little planet. Yup, still not even close. Still not even close. Eh, halfway. On the close. I know it's about ask you to have more population than what you already have, but. Come on, man, you know I need it. All right. All right. So we're approximately 13 under. I'm trying to figure out how we got underneath when we were, you know, we said five to 10, five to 10, it, was, it ended up becoming 30. So worst case scenario we planned for was 20. Oh man. Oh yeah. Get them all in there. I'm still putting them down. Didn't even realize we're like six over what we really need. Okay. So now that will start working. That will fully be working tool maker. And all you guys are going to want to jump the population because that's what you do best. Now we want two tool makers. So we definitely, oh, oh, I don't know, is it a tool maker? Yeah, I think it is. So we need another one of these. So you make five. So you're making five, but I'm only using two and a half. So we can actually just put another one of these down and be pretty good. Because that thing is definitely efficient enough. And no, uh, we're under our population threshold. Yeah, see, I'm not too worried because as soon as they start making tools, it's it's done so. You know what I mean? We don't have no rods. Why don't we have any rods? Because we need a resource we don't have. <laughs> Oh god, I didn't even realize it. We need these purple things right here. We didn't even realize. I need that. So let's go back on over here to our population town and we're gonna slowly upgrade them because we're gonna need 15, 20, 20 more total. Right now it's 15, but. Ah. Every time we think we're going ahead. And that's the thing, you want to keep juggling all this because if you do not pay attention to how fast you're building up in one area, it'll take the whole empire down. 
the whole entire empire. Nah, uh, that's 300, but hopefully it gives more than 3. Nah, it's only 9 jobs. I don't want to keep pushing on this population because the second they get tools, every single one of these get an extra population. Every single time. So, Toolmaker Plus, they already got the hospital, so yeah. Toolmaker, you're pretty employed. You guys all are, pretty much. Now you say you need this. And you say you're full. Oh, this isn't good. This is not good at all. So now, I gotta get a transporter just to transport your crap. You know what? No. You're going to the city center. No, 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 no. That's a house. Good try, though. Boom. City center. It only takes one population, and he can roll with him, hopefully. I don't see why he take it. I don't know why he would go anywhere else, but... Just in case, we'll put transportation there as well. <laughs> now look at that, 412 population. 400 we jumped a hundred population off of just that so like I said we always want to look at our food and our water it looks like our water is going to be hurt before anything so we'll put one gray bin there if it will go down we're going to slow this down too because this game like I said if you, you mess up this thing starts going pretty quickly two Wire purifiers or what right here? Oh man. We're gonna need one food. And we're gonna do two foods because it's always good to have more than what you need. So that's 24 now. And that's 19. We're gonna put a few more uh, gray water collection systems in. Kind of wanted to find the spots where nothing worked, so it was nice just to have. There goes one. Don't see spot big enough for number two. I don't want to take that out. I can actually put you right here. Two. Purify waters. Boom. Okay. Now we still have an 8 or a 90 population difference, which is good. It's fine. It works. But 90 different population. We got to spend them somewhere. So, I'd like to get into nanofibers. Don't think I want to get to nanofibers anywhere around these tight areas. Like that's always going to be that kind of thing. Don't know about you. Yeah, you guys are going to always be like that. So, we'll get this to make nanofibers. It just takes rocks to make four of you. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I need two of these just to make one nanofiber. I had to make sure. Um, to make one of these. Hmm. I don't know what's with this tool ratio. Hmm. Wonder if this mountain over here is just not giving them enough. Oh, we are we all we also are gosh, I don't think I can't even talk today. We also are what should I call it? I lost my train of thought off of that. Man, I really lost train of thought of that. Oh. We could also find another mine. Hopefully. Right there. We already got a place right next to it. Boom. Anywhere else on this planet? I don't even know where that's at. 
That's a nice big chunk, like wide open area. We don't have nothing to it. That's not even close. So. Man, now I'm all flip flopped again. There we go. So now these people all have hospitals. Why can't I not upgrade you? Because I need nanofibers. Okay. Well, nanofibers is about to do a lot of things. So, knowing that, we might want to. I, I really don't want to take that building facility away. Ooh. A little lag right there. Really? I'm trying. I really am trying. Nanofibers. Boom. Boom. Bada bop bop. Population is. Oh, we, we are just two jobs over where a population can withstand or hold. However, you want to place it. Doesn't something else use rods? use these rods though you don't use these ones okay I don't know I was, I was trying to make sure that we weren't sending this resource way too many places because right now it doesn't look like we're making enough kinda wanna make more but also don't wanna do more population can't even do it we're not making enough uh, our biofuel and to be honest, I can't remember exactly where that was on here. There it is. Oh, because they don't have enough transportation. End of the day, that's what the problem is, transportation. So I'm trying to fast forward it to get uh to get some fire for transportation. Oh man, that didn't really work. We definitely went up on tools, so that way we went up on everything else. But I definitely need a, I need more bio crushers. Maybe if we select to have it immediately. Wow, I'm guessing it can only hold three. Your problem isn't that we don't have enough, it's that nobody's going to go get it for you. Oh. Alright. Well, you go in here. Might well start compiling it all together. Why not? Wow. He has a lot to do. Until we get nanofibers, we can't do that. Come on, man. I just need five fire. I know y'all can help me, right? Come on. Five. I knew that was going to happen. That population drop. Not enough tools. Not enough tools. Never enough. There we go. Boom. First thing I want to do is upgrade you. Heck yes. Can't even upgrade this one. <laughs> Alright, so our city center. We're all in the 30s, which I like to be in the 30s, not the high 30s like this is. But I do like to be in the 30s. 30 is a comfy number. They, they can still get what they need done and all that. Definitely make him nanofibers, that is for sure. I don't even know how this guy got in the 40s, because all these people are in the 40s. Oh man, I just, I've been slacking on transportation apparently. Can't believe I've been slacking on it that bad.
Now look at that, we're making plenty of food, but nobody's going to go get it. Plenty of water, but nobody's going to go get it. Try and get all these transportation things under control. Then I can deal with the population drop and then all. And us losing quite a bit of jobs. So if you notice it keeps booming and dropping, booming and dropping rather quickly too. But this is how you get around that. You just give a couple level one houses. Level one will be these guys right here. We call them the buffers. What they're doing is they're not going to drop unless it's food or water related. For the most part, they don't drop. But they can help you get your population back without having drops until my tool makers can make enough damn tools pretty much. I don't, I don't understand tool maker. What you doing, bud? You don't flip my camera around. I mean, these guys say they're moving material now. So you guys should be getting, you know, pretty good amount of tools being made. Yeah, without the tools being made, I don't want to jump my level. One people to two. Yeah, you see that arrow down? That always hurts. That's saying that's a biggie that went down. I guess I'm guessing tools. I mean, they're not making enough rods, to be honest. Man, I think I just put another thing down. I put a few of these down, so I don't understand. This one factory is supposed to be enough. You know, I suppose one factory sometimes isn't enough. Let's, let's not be dumb about it. Oh, we're not making enough rocks, though. Oh, man. What are we doing with the rocks? What's going on with rock system now? Oh, snap. Looks like things... Either well, our guys are really good at delivering. Oh, maybe they are. Okay, I was going to say, it wasn't moving earlier, so... That wasn't a very good sight. Not enough rocks. So now I need a new rock person. Maybe. Problem is, is I'm asking them to do more and more and more, but my population's eh right now, so gotta be careful constantly asking for more. this he's gonna be asking for more right here however I can pause this building make sure the jobs go to where they're needed most all we need to do is not only make more rocks because some reason rocks are low but we need you know look at that the rocks come back up I see it too we need to maintain our population the best we can because in order for them to get more rock to make more population for everything for everything to go back up we got people that have to work and it's looking like our jobs at least 400 to work semi-efficient so we're just going to keep putting these little places down we gotta be careful the food level Wait, what? 
Our consumption is that high? What? You guys got people working here, right? I'm confused. Okay. Well, well, we'll get some people working over here. Don't worry. Alright. Well, we're definitely making food. But now we don't have enough water. I knew that was going to be the next thing was water. I just knew it. When in doubt, water it out. Alrighty. So that should help with our food and possible water decaying. Now we're making 30. We still are pretty good in gray water, but it looks like uh, we might want to look into it a little bit. Look, rocks are flying up. That's still not being made. Oh my. Come on. You guys are going to have to snap into it someday. One. Oh man, we're, we're getting lower in population. I just need them to make that to make tools to bring my population back up. Man. Let's see if we fast forward a little. Maybe they can pull out of it a little bit. 380. We're losing people. No, we're losing people. Uh, I just, I want to be careful of the food. That's the, that's the crazy part. Because if we build too quick, food's going to go down. And you know what I mean? The water will go down. And I haven't seen them come back up yet. I'm waiting. I haven't seen it though. So what's something we can pause that we don't desperately need at the moment? Oh, hey, wood. Try to redirect the jobs. Once we can get a, once we can get this all in order, we'll be better off. Just need them to build tools. At the end of the day, that's all we need. These guys are making them. You guys are making some. You guys are making like three. What in the world? Three? You really think that's gonna do much? I think we're full here, so we're gonna pause that. That's gonna help our population in a dramatic amount. We're also full here. So I'm gonna pause you for a second. I'm really trying to help this population out. Slowly doing my job. Everything's doing pretty good. Gray water, ah, man, that's hurting. Now you guys are being moved fast enough. It's no longer a transportation issue. Man, that's just been slowly going down. How are you, I mean, I guess you guys don't have enough employees. It's not so much as the employees as they're just not making this. They done tier two this facility. Pause that. Medical center don't need none. Come on. I know y'all want to make some tools. I mean, now it's making two, four, five. I guess you could say about five. But you guys take two and a half. There we go. We could properly have this going. Man, our population's almost down. Quite a bit. It's almost all the way down. And we get that one tool. I wish I could pause them, but like, no, 
Don't take that one tool. Let's make a stockpile. That way we can come back a little bit. There we go. Population's going up. We're getting it. Somebody grab that one tool. That is what I'm talking about. That one tool wonder right there. Ah. Alright, well that's good to see. The more it goes up, the faster these tool makers are going to make tools. That's all I can say. And if you notice, this thing's starting to look kind of polluted, this world. Yeah, we put a nice little tree defense up. Oh, oh, I see at 385 right when it, it just back down. These guys, they, they still making tools the same speed. There goes that one tool, boom. And somebody must be using it. So I kind of want to try to get this in control rather quick because our pollution isn't too bad. It's it's 0.75 a day, but I need to get some scrubbers made. At the end of the day, that's I mean I need some scrubbers. Um, that being said, I don't need you currently either. It's only like five employees, but I think five's better than none. Man, I just these factories are working slow. See this food guy just he ain't ever winning. He's always slowly losing or something. I don't get it. You just you ain't winning. Either yeah, there's this guy. I mean, aren't these like the the last case scenario where you take two people from, you know? It's gray water, I can understand for that. We'll put a few more gray water systems in. Seriously? Oh, you, you guys are, you guys are being petty with this. Wow. There we go. Took long enough, right? Put two there. Maybe a few here. It doesn't hurt. Like I said, it only takes transport. So. That's the only thing it does. It takes from the transport company. Alrighty, job's going to 430. Awesome. Not too sure about uh, these tools. They said they're making more. And our food is back to where it was again. And you see, these people just need transportation, it looks like, for the most part. So we're going to take this guy. He's going to go right there. And he's going to make us some good old food. By himself. Here's your food. And you know what always comes next? Water. Water is always the next one to go. I'm going to slow it down a little bit more because I'm not, I'm not placing these as fast as they probably need them. Like our food, it is now well over. Water, barely over. One thing we don't want to skip on is this storage. For sure, definitely storage is one of the biggies to always be good on.
All right, so this is all upgraded. This is all upgraded. Awesome. Awesome. All right, so now maybe we can finally help our planet after all that back and forth, up and down. We may now be able to heal our planet. I wonder, has this got a special way to face? Like, is there any animation? You see, it does show the fans moving, but it'd be pretty cool if you could see, like, the air getting sucked here and blown towards, like, the city. You know what I mean? It'd be cool to have a little bit of animations. Water is good. Food is definitely good. Clothes is... Um, what? Clothes is no longer good. Why is this? It is definitely not because of the fabric or anything. Quick fix. We'll work backwards on how we usually do this. Normally we do the two, one, all that. Well, we're going to work backwards. We're going to put one U down, which then we'll start burning up my other stuff quicker. Because I have, I have a good stockpile of everything. Two of you, and five of you. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we got five of them. So, biggest thing, population. I don't know what more I could do for water besides what I'm currently doing, which is this little facility we created over here. I think it was created like that, yeah. I mean, this thing is collecting pretty good. Same with this. I mean, the resources ain't getting very high. So why are we not producing what we need? No, employers are all good. Kinda like you, you're still not producing the way we need. Yeah, I don't know. But at least we were getting our pollution control started to be under. Under control. So. Definitely gonna put a few of these here. Just saying, don't want to pollute the world. Not one day at least. No, not this one, this one. Yeah, well, no. We have another one somewhere. Spin the world. You can get very confused very quickly with what is where. I don't see it. I thought we had another place for population. I suppose it was here. But here is no longer good. Yeah, that's probably not so friendly either. Pretty friendly there, though. I get the population up slowly but surely. Hope that food crisis has been solved via yeah, food has with water. For some reason, it's still lacking. Jobs are slowly going on up. Population slowly rising. Is that a meteor that just went by? Yeah. Look at that thing. What? What is this? I didn't even know about this. Gives you what? Rotation? 
I guess it shows you the objects that are rotating in the sky. Wow. It's about perceptive perception. Alright, 460, so we're doing good. We're almost got all of our population back for that. Oops. It's tools, man. I don't understand why you guys ain't making enough tools. I mean, clothes is about to go down. Hopefully he's stacking back up on his clothes. Okay, so they're not fully employed. That kind of makes sense why it's taking that long. This population boom also has these jobs. Yeah, it has these jobs in in the twine. Um, let's see. We are getting 1,200 from our scrubbers, 1,200 from all our thousands of trees. I mean, we got quite a bit of trees. Can't say we don't. So what if I just sent tools over from the other planet, enough to allow my population to boom? If you understand where I'm getting at with this. No. So what we're going to do is take the satellite. And if you've seen the beginning when we went to the... Uh, oh, is it source? I believe it's source. Hopefully it is. But if you saw the beginning, you would notice that we send it. Is this? Please tell me the same source. Okay, good. All right, we're good. You'll see it send into the uh, the sky, and it looked pretty cool. It was a nice little animation. Definitely got a lot going on. These people are pretty stable. The pollution looks good. The population is great. I mean, we have 639, 630. Like we're perfect on everything. Everybody's happy over here. It's here. Nope, nope, nope. Not there. It's here that we're struggling. Pollution's killing the people in the street. Um, ah, man, we were a little late on that pollution control. To be honest, we were pretty late on it. That is one thing I guess you just have to watch out for. Pollution. Um, I want to get another one. I do want another scrubber. Will you help out with my tool guy? Absolutely not. Hopefully, when we get our tools here, we'll have seven of them that might last long enough for our tool guy to actually fully make these tools. That is what we're hoping for. I'm not too sure how long it takes to send from one planet to another. I think it depends on, yeah, depends on where they're at in the orbit, which is pretty cool. I'm guessing that's our sun. I wish we could tap into it, like send a rocket over there to the sun and get some of the gas. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I don't want to spam this population until it starts booming. I don't want to give it too much to do. Is that just for one house? Oh, that's for all houses. I'm just, we're so close to making tools. And I mean, I've made plenty of these damn mines here. And plenty of tool makers. I've made plenty of everything, okay? Waiting on these tools to get delivered. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Plenty of tools. Population get ready to grow. Unless it was already grown. I don't think it was. Because it never got fully to our fulfillment. So our population's about to boom up to 579. What? Talk about population jump. That is pretty good population jump there. 
So, can we speed this up where they, they decide that they're all happy with the tools? You guys were already out five? No way. If I hit play, would that give you guys... That will give us a population jump slightly. Okay. I'll take it, but okay. You didn't give as much as you took. You took 20. You didn't give 20. A new type of citizen appears in your colony, the dwellers. They also come with new uh, need. Of course, they want sandwiches. A new building material has been discovered. Oh snap. That's pretty cool. We already got a few of the citizens leveled up. A few of the cool citizens. So, now I was told we unlocked a few things here. Sand collector. Uh, bio. What? Bioactor. Okay, biofiber factory. Weaves, fibers, light material suitable. What? I'm confused. Uh, it takes different material to make the same thing. Okay. Okay, so we're. This is how we make sandwiches, ain't it? Alright, so that's how you make sandwiches and all those cool things. That's your first thing is just sandwiches? Oh god. You gotta do quite a bit. And I don't think I'm on the right planet, it says. Pretty sure I gotta be on the red planet for any of this. Oh, I don't need nothing for you. Cool. Alright, we're still 19 jobs down. Not too sure why that is what it is. We're still not, you know, we don't have enough jobs, so we don't have enough of that. Our water supply still is not working to what it should be. That's crazy, because we have quite a bit of water going. I mean, you guys, yeah, you guys are fully employed. Should be good with water now. Look at that, 39 apparently. Yeah, that's good. Food, eh, a little struggle-ish. And our consumption is still way too high for you. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we need, a, yep, made a new little place for all population boomers. We're not trying to put too much of a struggle on level two stuff yet because we're not making enough, apparently. Not enough tools. We were bump them up. We're gonna need more tools and everything. Right now, we're just gonna put a struggle on our water and our food, which I know that doesn't sound good, but that's where the struggle's going. Okay, you gotta go somewhere. It's going there. We just upped four more things of water, or two more things of water, I believe. But it's still quite a bit. Five hundred seven. So now we have well more population than we need. Good, because I'm about to figure out why the heck we ain't making enough tools, ever. Alright, 520, that's good. Tell me why we ain't making enough tools now. You guys should be running at peak performance. What you mean you don't have enough people? Oh, because we're still 20 down. Might be a peak performance, but we're still 20 down, so not so good. We're good on everything, right? Fuel, biofuel. What uses biofuel? No, you use wood. And you don't use it. Okay, so I don't know what uses biofuel, but that is definitely going down. Might want to resume you. Let that go back up again.
We're not cool guys, but we're definitely trying not to pollute the world kind of guys. Boom. I don't know if we set these a certain way, if it would block our pollution better. Cleans the air using, okay. But it's cleaning the air that way. We don't actually know which way the wind blows, so I mean, really, we can't do any of that kind of math. That being said, our tools are slowly going down. Still. So before this thing hits zero, we're going to send some more tools from our prominent planet that says that, you know what, they don't really need tools. Whoa, 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 there's so many new things. Send it to there. Still can't repeat, so just send it on. They're going to send a little missile out. Oh, man, this one will take the longest for it to get to it. But it is what it is. Come on, tool maker. I know you want to make me some tools, right? You know you're supposed to be making me... Oh, you make me four. No, you're supposed to be making me five. I thought... Yeah, there it goes. It's almost a five. As the employment goes up slowly. But... That's not even an issue for this tool guy. The issue now is that he's just not making enough tools. Alright, water girl. You're back up. Owls are potable. Still good. A tax dial is going down. Oh no. That's one thing we don't want. So we're going to put two more in here. Alright, so tax dial should be good again. You. We're going to hit play on you. Because we need you. Alright. Now we need a little bit of population. Growth. Not so much as a boom as a growth. We're pretty good on that and that. Mm, we are so close. Definitely close. It's not overloading you guys, right? No. Okay, good. Now we should be good enough to up our population slightly. Yeah, not really gaining to the quantity we were wanting. One thing I keep looking at is all of our material over here. I always want to make sure we're good. Almost catching up. Feels like we're always one step behind. 51, 43, and our our dark water still doing good. The reason why we want to keep looking at it is because we just keep adding more and more water. But we're not collecting more and more water. We did do uh, we did drop a uh, several of them just to drop them. Yeah, 
yep, we're probably going to need some more gray water. Now, it doesn't hurt to have gray water. It doesn't really do much, especially in an environment like right here where my guy wasn't doing nothing, transport nothing really. It now gives him something to actually do. Alrighty, so now our tree logger people, they're going to need to go to work because we're losing all our trees. Why is there a random medical center all the way out here? I don't understand, but that is done. Definitely doing pretty good on our jobs, and hopefully our wood comes back up shortly after turning all these back on. Don't know if it was so much as our guys weren't cutting as our guys were uh, having to walk, walk further to get stuff done. Yep, so everything looks good. Oh, well this will get y'all a slight population boom, I guess. Alrighty, so we just added a lot of things. Well, let's look at our pollution. We're still polluting. That is not good. No, but ain't no. First thing. Second thing, we are not making enough water. We are barely making enough food. And we are making enough clothes. And we are finally making enough tools. So it's water. Water, water, water. The source of all evil apparently is water. We want to keep on this guy. He's still in his 20s. It's not too bad. That is good. Everything but you. Textile. We just need, and I don't know how are these warehouses looking here. Yeah, they're looking a little overwhelmed, you know what I mean? Like, not good. 30, 30, 30, everything 30. That's not, that's not what you want. I promise you, that's not what you want. You don't want everything that high on the scale. 20s and high 20s, low 30s. That's, that's what you're looking for. So you're right about there. 32, that looks good. 32, 32. We're still not making enough of these though. So either you have a problem with getting the resources to them or a problem with them not having enough. Or maybe the job just don't have nobody. I don't know, but that's where our problems are lie all the time it's like wood why that is going down still I couldn't tell you I'm pretty sure I resumed all of them that was wood cutting yeah they're mainly just full I mean if it's a big issue let's wait the transport is the biggest issue so, we can definitely go have someone like him just be a buzzkill, but nah. More importantly, he's going to collect maximum amount. Right there. And he's going to help this guy out a tremendous amount. And our wood should start going back up. Now, you, why are you not, why, why is it not working over here? You're not overloaded. Hey, we just need another bio crusher. Let's turn this. I was, I'm thinking about pollution, how the air flows, and all that. I, I'm just putting too much thought into it. 
That's all it is. Alright, so hopefully those scrubbers will help with our pollution. Um, it was at 1600, so we'll give it a second to see how it actually kicks in. And our water is still under. I don't get it. Why can't we win when it comes to water? Water is the easiest one, it should be. You're purified too. Yeah, you mean you guys aren't bad yet. I mean these guys ain't holding nothing. One, one, one. You know what I mean they're they're holding pretty decent. Gray water. I throw gray water in the most randomest places because why not? You know what I mean? I'm trying to. So I can see gray water slowly going. Slowly fading in the wind. There we go. That should put enough on that. Now, Mr. Medical Center. What do you want? You want sandwiches. Man, you know what? I think you're going to have to wait. First thing I want to do is unpollute this world. Absolute first thing. Got to unpollute it. I get it. That got a pretty big chunk right there. If I put one here, not really winning much, am I? I think I'll actually win pretty decent here. So waters, please tell me it's still good. Yes, it's, it is great. Food somehow is not, but everything else was just great. You sure you're not overwhelmed over here? No? Alright. If you say so, I mean, look, I'm just... I'm just here. Not putting too much strain on you, am I? Let's stop for a second on that. On those upgrades. Oh god. Alright, I just gotta get 16. Just 16, I can. Okay. Wow. Alright. I'm great. That I feel. You know what, Medical Center? It's good that you feel better. You're gonna expand there. It's about time. Alrighty. So, amount of jobs are doing pretty good for the population. Water is doing good ish. Food, food doing good. Clothes, barely surviving. Tools, barely surviving. A little bit better than clothes. It would seem that we're still having an issue with getting this. Alrighty. Alright, so it's not a supply and demand issue. This guy's, they're actually holding their own pretty good. It's more of a, uh, I need more of these fans. It's weird. I thought we had enough. It was like five to every one. And then, I don't know, there was a mathematics and it worked everywhere else, but now it's all of a sudden not working. Oh man, 
Per production? What? It's probably gonna be you. Everything runs off of that. So it wouldn't shock me if that was the first thing to go down. Alrighty, so that should help with the fire. I, I'm not too sure about the quarry though. And it just generates pollution as far as I know. Are we going down yet on pollution where we can just like let things be? No. No, no, we're not. Oh, man. And now shirts. Shirts are doing alright, but if tools, they still haven't even gotten over the hill yet. Water has, but it's slowly getting over, I guess. I don't know what hill water's getting over, but it's getting over it. They threw a fit that quick because they didn't have the medical center. And they are some wimps. Oh, snap. Okay. Population is looking like it's going to be great. Awesome. I still need a lot more. I'm trying to look at this water. Water and food a little bit. We'll let them grow up a little bit past what they need. Alrighty, that's all they needed. Where's a quicker way to get back to where I was coming from? This way? Oh god, they built a bridge. A very long bridge. I would like more scrubbers. Alright, well, if you can't give me that, at least give me, you know, trees. Oh, not enough fire. Plenty of trees, though. Plenty of those. How do you have pending transport that much? I don't I don't understand that one. Not that that quick. That should help produce a little bit more oxygen. Since I don't know any other way to get my people to breathe right. Alright. Well, maybe y'all cover that area. We'll let that go by for a second. Um, man, still at 0.5. I'm trying my best to hold back this pollution. But the, what we are doing is creating a lot more to hold back a little. Alright. That being said, we're going to uh, take a quick little break and uh, be right on back.
Thank you. 
Thank you.
and welcome back. So, I was allowing it to run through the game a little bit while we were gone. And right now, it looks like we are at 142 consumption, so that's almost 10% less and almost 50% happiness, which is good. Um, that being said, I did upgrade a few people, but look, you're still good on tools. We're still good on the, uh, the clothes. Food, greatly, because I'm not upgrading for, I'm not putting any more level one down. I'm upgrading the two. So it's going to put a strain on all of them at once. But we're doing pretty good. Everything kind of brought back to life but Rock. Rock's the only one that never did. That just tells me that we're not uh, we're not doing enough for Rock. And we're looking pretty good on these tools. Pollution is just constantly going down slowly but surely we're down about 10% on pollution that is for sure so what we're gonna end up doing is letting this kinda of chill out and do its own thing while we uh, we're going to go to a whole different world we're gonna go to this one now this one it's pretty good. It's just waiting for the population boom for uh, a few things, as you know. We probably put the hospital somewhere around here. Well, let's look at our food and all. Water, we're good. Food, we're good. Clothes is good. Everything's good. So, one thing you got to notice, there's 639 population here. They're only drinking but 30. And 30 for food, 15 for clothes, and 10 for tools. If I'm correct, they're all ready for level 2. I don't know if we made another city somewhere for just population. I didn't think we did. We did, right here. So we can upgrade these guys. We're good to upgrade. The reason why we're upgrading is because we're playing the build soon. As we build, we gotta watch out for pollution. As you see, pollution gets... If it's out of control, she's not good. So consumption goes down to 80%. We are, we're, we were almost double the consumption. And our pollution is really good, actually, on here. So we were almost double the consumption... I mean, here we're only 30 a day, 30 a day, 15 at 650 pop. Oh, that's trade routes. About 100 more population, and we're consuming more than double. We didn't even double the population, yet we're consuming more than double. Like, that's, that's just crazy. That's because our guys aren't the most happiest, are they? They're at 50%. So we're still consuming 60, what is that? Yeah, 60%. That's a lot we're consuming. Um, like I said, we're going to let this planet not die. Chill down. While we're over here messing with this stuff a little bit. We built this one up a little bit better with the pollution ratio. That's something I got to work on. Most definitely I have to work on when it comes to doing this. So I'm guessing this is our second town. One thing we're going to do is start transporting that one resource over here so we can bring these guys to a whole new level. So what I want to do, basically, is be ready for it. We're going to have a little bit more population than what we need. As long as we're good on everything, it looks like we are perfect on everything but tool making so this little population jump is not going to hurt we're jumping about 40 
pretty close to 40. We know the cool guys and all how all this works. Oh, we can actually build this here. Gather sand. Cool. That gets soot. This uses sand. This uses soot. And uh, our fabric. Still can't do that. We can do soy grain. Or we can do soy grain mill. We can't do the field. <laughs> Well, what's the point if we can't do the field? Wrong planet. Oh man, that's not good. So, even though we did a little population boom, we're still good on all of our resources, but sand, apparently. What? When did we put a sand collector down? That's the same build, ain't it? When in the heck? We must have accidentally clicked it. Let's uh, trash this one. I don't like the placement of it. Alright, well, we're definitely getting sand, though. Don't know why, but we got it. And see, all we need is those rods. So that next planet, that's all they're going to do is ship over some rods. That's good we're getting that, you know, up. Miles well while we can. Never hurts to be over prepared. So we might end up having to build one more of these or something. I don't know. 100. What I want to do with that? I do know. Now I'm going to need wood. Sent to the red planet. Well, that's not good. We weren't ready. We're going to need some more wood set to the red planet. And we're going to need a little bit of bio sent there. And a little bit more bio. Never hurts. We got plenty of it. Why not? Man, our pollution's only 5,400 here. Oh, we must have been close to that red planet. Yeah, we're pretty close. Um, I'm confused. There it is. What's that? I can't. I still can't get to my planet. So the pollution is almost the same on this planet. The only difference is, is we let it get up a lot higher. That being said, this is a whole new world right here. Yes sir, yes sir. So what we're going to do, we're going to put this down. And this is going to be our first structure first structure you have to have at least two houses for sure at least one if not two plants oh, so we have two houses but we only have two wood stocks alright there we go now we start off three population we got a little bit of that going. We're still good in pollution. <laughs> the amount of trees and what these guys are generating works out fine. Now we can. I wouldn't mind having another one of these, but we, we ain't gonna have enough to make that. We're gonna need a lot more of everything else first. I don't want to separate them a little bit in a way. Keep them at a distance. 
No distance don't sound very friendly. What is this? Food? When did I build a hydro thing that far away? Anybody else notice that drop? I don't over here think about dropping one. I didn't think it actually did. destroy that but we got 10 jobs but only you know five people not so good try not to get rid of what we're doing over here Definitely gives the supply level. At least at this rate, when this is all our supplies, I think we're doing pretty good. Let's see, we can slow this one down. We're probably going to have this planet built decently up before we end up actually looking into the other planet to see how its pollution level came along. So. How is everything going? You guys got your food, so you guys are happy, but you're not happy enough to give me a population. Ah. Gotta love it. You guys are semi-happy. Oh, congratulations. Semi-happy. So now this should start getting us water, which hopefully will then give us a population boost. Hopefully. Because I need it. I need two more people. Um, they definitely made more water. They're definitely making enough water. So there goes our little population boom. Very small, but it means a lot to us. You don't take much to boom population again, do you? Just take a little bit of fire. Cool. That's going to boom our population one more time. I set them up for level two. And one thing we could do is start a tree farm. Now you got purple. You got calcium. You you're the only plant that can make me sunflowers. I don't know if a soy field will actually, uh, it generates, what? Pollution? No. It generates pollution? Seriously? How? That seems a little unrealistic. Now that we have enough that we can actually build another town hall. It's weird, you can't build another town hall until you have at least one warehouse. I just want another town hall so I can start putting some tree peeps down. Get that all going. Seriously, not enough fire now? We'll speed you up a little and get enough fire. Or maybe not. We thought we were, but apparently we're not. 
I'm gonna need you anyway, eventually, but I just didn't expect it to be this soon. Don't tell me you don't have enough logs. You need five logs. You need anybody see a, a pattern here? I need five logs for that too, huh. That would probably be best for my tree peeps. Now tree peeps. Oh, are you kidding me? Right when I was about to use you. We'll get you eventually. We want to try to keep this population under control to the best of our abilities. We probably just grew a little bit. What? What is that? Why do you look so cool? You even get a tree on yours. What? That's not fair. You look cool. Look at this. He doesn't even look cool. That don't make no damn sense. Really? That's what you're looking for is wood? I'm trying to give you wood. Ah, <sighs> good old days. Now these tree people will eventually get kicked out where they are. If we don't kick them out. So I want to try to keep this right into our circle. And we gotta wait for more trees. Always waiting on those trees. One day, there we go. Oh, and cool. Cool be really? Trees again? Alright, how's our pollution looking? Alright, so we're still going pollution. Got zero pollution. <laughs> we're just gonna have to keep looking at that ever so often. So eventually my resources start costing too much and then uh, we get what we had on the last moon. Yeah, I'm okay if you guys go and buy bar. These other tree people should have it. Look at that nice looking population. What? Why are you guys going down? What do you mean, too many workers? <sighs> you see, you, you try to do good for people. Do the best you can do, and this is how they treat you. There we go. Now, you should have enough people to actually put off a broadcast signal bigger than the side of your building, dang it. I mean, come on. What kind of broadcast signal was that? Alrighty. So, now that we're back on track, I think wood. I think they're starting to harvest wood. I'm not 100. Yep, they, they, they begun to harvest wood. Not so much everybody, but they begun it, which is good. Which means our pollution rate should be getting better. Alrighty, so now we can start really getting into the pollu pollution and things. We definitely need rock. Rock makes a lot of things and generates a lot of pollution. That's why we want to do rock off the bat. I mean, look at that. I need rock just for you right off the bat. And then I need another. This seven rock. How many are you making? You make five a day. And right here they're asking for seven. How am I always doing good with rock? I mean, look at that. Everything is asking for it. Oh, that's to build it all. Ha! <laughs> oh, my bad. My bad. I wasn't looking at it right. Okay, so. It would seem so far 
Nothing needs rock. What? No, no, that's still not rock. I don't know. I don't know what would need it, but hey, at least we'll have it. So we're going to start a pollution. Oh, that's not pollution world. Right here could be a pollution world. Alright, so this is going to be pollution world for at least our textile farm. Now, if you all remember correctly, the ratio. It's five of these to two of the one and two to one. So five, two, one. That is our ratio. And they're not making enough fire. Why would they? Yeah, at least rock's doing good. I lost them. How did I lose the only city on this whole place? Oh man. How did I lose you guys? Really, Bio Crusher? Are you doing that bad of a job? I'm just trying to build too much. Which which one is it? You tell me. Is it me or is it you? I think it's you. Maybe not. You're supposed to make seven and a half a day. Problem is, is you ain't getting collected. This guy right here, he's about to be full. He, he about to stop production. We're going to pause you because I don't see us using rock anytime. So until we start using it. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. Now, it doesn't have to be the most prettiest thing. As you can see, I'm kind of just throwing them down. I like to keep them all in a certain area. So that way I can see, hey man, this warehouse right here, it's being overloaded. I can upgrade it, put more down. Whatever it is that we need. Right now we're stacking on uh, fiber. Most definitely stacking on that. So if you notice our food and our water so food's not bad, or water's kind of close there. We're just prepping, preparing it for uh, when we go to level two. That's when we'll really prepare. Now you see all those, all on full and full and full. That's fine because they're, no, no it's not. They're, 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 they need to be collected. <laughs> I was going to say it's fine because there is plenty of textile farming, but it appears that's not the case. You're only making half a shirt a day. That's not much. Your jobs. That's why. Not enough population. Okay, guys. Population. I heard I needed more water. I mean, I got... How many of these great things? I got three? Why do I have such an odd number? Three is not what it takes to run this thing. It's two. So, we have enough for a population boost. Woo woo, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like we do. What about clothes? Yeah, well, we're not really making many, are we? Making very little clothes today. There we go.
There we go. So, now that we got people actually working, how, how are we doing now, huh? You make it four, isn't that amazing? You just, you amaze me. You're making enough. Now we're just going to slowly upgrade these as we need them. We want to get a little population jump for this next one. Let's look at our pollution. That's one thing we got to look at. We're doing pretty good on pollution. I think we can go one more round of building stuff. And then we're going to need to add another th a forest, I guess you could say. We're not quite ready for the nanofibers and all that. Alright, this slight boost, slight jump, not quite one a day, that's not bad, they're still happy as could be, right, yup, happy as could be, and yet they jump one, one whole block, happy as could be with one jump, and you guys are you guys are pretty happy too, okay. And I ain't gonna bother with y'all. Pollution world over here. Looks like a different story. I mean, they keep getting full. What else can we say besides they're getting full? That should help a little bit with the uh, Supply and demand. I still, I mean, yeah, it's still only going to do, you know, five a day. So, it is what it is. Oh, hold on. Did I say more than five? No. It's just how many we have. Okay. So, that one warehouse right there helped out a tremendous amount because of this. It helped clean up a lot of that. Now it's cleaned up. Everybody's production is just good. And I think we can continue on. How about food and water? Mmm, good. Alright, so next thing. We already did start doing rock. We did, you gotta do a, this mine right here. Okay, well, you're the boss. You said it's already time for the mine. It's time for the mine. Employees, not enough. <laughs> of course it's not enough. Why would it be? It's not like we just jumped our population quite a bit or anything. No. Hmm. Already, we're just down by two people. It's not bad. Or definitely jumped quite a bit. Sand. It only it takes five wood to make fifteen of you. It takes five for you. Is that all sand's used for right now? It's not bad. Alrighty, let's let's get a few more people on board. What? They didn't want you. Where they wanted you, bud. Alrighty. One sixteen. We're getting there slowly.
We're almost at a hundred. No, but they want one hundred sixteen. Yeah, I think every time I put this building down, we're getting what three, four population. We get four. Yeah, so every single building's about four. Just a little bit more. Oh no, we're equal. Population and jobs are equal. Let's check it out at our resources. Almost half. About half. And not even one and a half. There we go. Four more jobs than what we need. That rock's been paused. Why? Why not? Because you don't use rock. I don't see that we have any though. So let's resume you. All of this was just to make tools which we don't have enough resources for tools yet. I don't get it. Why can't I select tools? Oh, because I don't have no rock. <laughs> That's all I ever wanted was a little bit of rock. Nope. I think that four population was what I needed. That's exactly what I need it kind of thing. So we're going to find a little spot now to cater to our population control. Oh, you know, this is so good. This is so good, but the mountains right there. Oh, look at that. This border is just nothing. Man, we try to do a good population center. We're going to be over here or something. That's a good population center. Have you noticed I'm trying to get these higher? I don't like being at 12 resources while making 50, you know what I mean? I want to be at 100 resources while making 50. You always have to have a good storage system. Oh, this will be the last house right here. Awesome. You still overwhelmed? Nope. Not even close. Okay, that's good. You're overwhelmed somehow, but I don't know. Yeah, you're, you're not so much as a one. It's looking pretty good. Alright, so we were still trying to do this tier 2 stuff. Tools, right? Of course, why weren't we on the, an investigation of tools? Another thing. We need a warehouse here. You gotta be kidding me. I can't place the warehouse. Nope. Cause why would I want that? So now you should have picked up half the jobs just in this one area. And you guys should no longer be full all the time. Unless you know our resources are maxed, which is good, but they're not maxed, which means you guys need to pick up the pace a little. Alright, so we're making two and a half tools. We're looking pretty good there. I mean, yeah, because the rods are always full. Which means he's getting his resources good, which means everybody's good on the resources pretty good. Mm -hmm. 
I should, in theory, theoretically, I should be able to put a second one of these down. And still be good with resources and with jobs. Now, that being said, how's our pollution control now? Ah, pollution control is not working. Our tree guys just aren't being any more tree friendly. See, I'm not trying with our, our, our ecosystem on this one. I think that got it pretty well. Chops are looking, but you know, it is what it is. They might have to build a bridge on that one. Hopefully, this makes us a few more trees. Yeah, you guys might want to build a bridge over here. I don't foresee you guys walking around here. Oh, look at that, they're getting roadways. So, we'll see what you guys' roadway will be. I'll say it still didn't have one there. There we go. We got a little good roadway system going on. You guys don't need roads. How are they getting over there? Where's your bridge? Are they walking through this muck? At least the pollution control is getting a little bit better now. So, settlers to level 2, how is it looking? Very, very promising on every front. Food and water is going to need a little bit of adjustment. But other than that, pretty good. So, we'll give them the little adjustment they were asking for. Should be good for all of them now. 14, 14. So we're good on every front. Even gray water. I just put you guys down. Come on. Come on. Don't do it with me like that. So, that being said, that means we can upgrade these guys and they look good. Okay, so they're already upgraded, but do you guys you guys actually do have these mines. So we can go to tier three for you. But I would really enjoy getting this microfiber down and having that whole assembly there. I'm pretty sure into the micro let's see it takes six fire and six of you so yeah we need another one of you we can upgrade you guys we can deal with that little population spike oh my off those few buildings, we need more population spike than this. But you know what? It looks good. It's a good start.
You guys didn't notice the first thing I'm trying to run for is pollution control. Absolute first thing. One thing I gotta look out for is that bio, though. Oops. What I'm probably gonna end up having to do is build another one. I don't know, rocks kinda look a little more than anything. All in all, we got our first filters. So now I just need more rock, and then we can stop this pollution before it gets out of hand. Now you guys are probably 91% happy, yeah. So your consumption's about to start going up very, very soon. So we need a little bit of fire to make this rock make. All right. So what is going on here? Are you guys doing too much? What's going on? So you're just doing too much. Either way, we're going to slow it down before we hurt ourselves because this is just going to keep going up. We do not have a hold of it yet. We put this thing down. Hopefully, we'll get a little bit more fire. more fire I might be able to get more rocks speed it up a little bit until we can get to that alrighty more rocks with that we should be able to get you I know it got complicated it got long very quickly very easily and it was definitely all the way around kind of thing you gotta do just to get a little bit of population, but it is what it is. All this just to try to get everything under control. we can get the more people that will work so that's that's the upside that's what we're always looking for get more and more people working Do we still have one more job that's population control That takes 10 population for. Alrighty. Still good on everything. Ooh, a little close for that one. But it'll be alright. We got six. So we got six people to help with this. Where or oh where are we going to put it? Another thing. Notice we don't have that much wood. We don't really have that much. Yet yeah, look at the, all this. Doesn't make good sense. I was like, why is a rock person not doing so hot? They're making five ten a day. Should slowly be going up. You would think. You make me question if I even have enough people and things to make rock. Alright, you know what? We're going to take a quick break on Tara. <laughs> you better see what we're going to do. I don't understand that. 
Holy crap. Alright, anyway. I just realized I had them all stacked right there. I don't think it gave them double the tree coverage. It might have. This might be the most efficient way to do it. Because look at all the other trees. Anyway. What we were looking for is this over here. Yep. Guess what? I need some rock. So guess what you about to do? You about to send me some rock. Good thing this population can take a hit when it comes to resources going down. Definitely gonna speed that up a little. Oh my, you guys have enough rock I can actually do something with. Didn't even realize. Oh. Well, you guys are about to get some more rock. It never hurts. There goes our pollution control. Four. Oh man, we're a little under on this. Man. I will say that we are under for pollution. Huh. Man. Alright. You know what we gotta do. We have a thousand tree cutters. We're gonna pause ten of them. Well, at least Paul's this many. But it help us with two population. Okay. Well, two population better than none. That should have given us enough population for our uh, for our factory control. You're still not enough. Man, this is getting crazy. Let's speed it up. Maybe you guys gotta go to work. There we go. Bring that pollution back down. Yes. That's exactly what we need. To bring that pollution back down. Alright, let's look at uh let's look at uh our other planet. How's your pollution? Look at that, 30%, it was 60. <laughs> How is our consumption on everything? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The consumption is just crazy. We don't need anywhere near as much as what we have. That is, that's crazy. We were way building up. Good thing is now, I don't have to build up. I already have it all built. I just have to upgrade. And we could turn these all back on. Even though it's not doing anything, it doesn't hurt to have wood always there or whatever. It doesn't hurt. Consumption is just constantly flowing down. I love it. I love it. 
still have what four more people we can unpause okay make it these guys a straight line right here awesome I know all you guys won't be upgraded but let's get this pollution control down what is your happiness now 70% so now you're using like 40 about 40% less of my items finally gosh you guys are burning me on resources here at least we got that under control other planets under control as well and this one looks like we got it but let's check yeah we got this one she's going back down her happiness should go back up to 90 percent good consumption is only 15 percent more it didn't become a biggie yet all that fancy words is me saying it, it hasn't become a big issue yet. Now, I could use a small population boom. It's going to sound we'll need more rock. Um, calcium mine. Let's look at this. There's only one right there. Or there. There we go. <gasps> no! You both missed! Gosh! How could you all miss that? What is here? That's two... No, that's, that's population and that. Okay. We'll put you a little bit closer to here. As we said, we're going to need more population, so we start sending them up. How are we looking? Half. Okay, so close is definitely going to be the one we will watch out for. Definitely close. Alright, now that he's making that green stuff. We can eventually have rods. Which is good. That is maxed. Okay, well, well. Might be able to get something there. Did I pause the tree guys on this? I did. I'll pause the tree guys over here as well. I'm really good at pausing them, you know? Man. How do you have so much to do? This is the only area you got. I don't quite fully get it, but okay. At least you're kind of helping out with multiple things. Not just this. Are you down one employee? You are. Huh. Down one guy. So by getting the hospital guy, yeah, we're gonna put you over here. Your pollution control right here. But by getting the hospital, I'll be able to increase my population steadily, like I want to do all the time. That way, my my strain on clothes and tools. Everything goes up accordingly. So what we're going to do is check our material. We're looking pretty good on everything but you. Biomass. Good everything here. We're definitely going to need a population boom. Ah, it's kind of hard to do one. Close there, you know what I mean? It's just, you don't... You don't want to have to pull this all out and pull um, by that what I mean is start getting this right have him set and just start dropping level one houses where it puts the struggle just on food
Now we have so many jobs. I'll look up, boom, 20 more jobs. That's kind of impressive how we keep going up. The population squeaking up. At least we're making rods. Eventually, getting ready to start using them. Keep on making them. Keep on keeping them. But we're gonna use this. It's a population boom. Other things. Going up. 319's a job. We got 16, so these guys are about to start giving us some population, right? Come on. I know you want to go up. Come on. Get out of that 5 out of 6. We're still not polluting. We're still doing good on pollution. Consumption just going down slowly. It's always working in our favor. So you barely even affected anybody. Okay. Anyway, got our hospital going here. So, okay. what we gotta have is more clothes being made for our next one. Pretty sure. Yeah, we're gonna need a little bit more clothes, and then we'll need tools right after, very shortly after. So we might start putting this down and realize that we're just asking too much of our people. So we'll be placing five, ten, ten of these, two and then one. Alright, so that didn't do any strain besides on this building and this building. That's where the strains come from. As you can see, it's jumping up quite a bit. 40s. That, that's too much. And that. What? No hospital? Because I took the people? Ho ho. Instantly, the first thing it does is go for the hospital. It goes for my legs. This damn thing goes for my legs. Alrighty. So, the next thing we want is these things. Right over here. So we're going to pause it real quick. We'll put it on slow. And build up our population very slightly. got the clothes being made will definitely be boosting our population yeah we have enough clothes that by the time this boosts up to employ full workers it would be good making 10 now yeah, you're the next one we're gonna be going after. Don't you worry.
This is the only warehouse over here. Well, the good thing is, is they can kind of get them. Alrighty. I'm gonna pause you guys, right? No, we did not. Not all of them, at least we did. Pollution, how are we doing? We aren't doing very well, apparently. I am sorry to hear that we have disturbed you. If y'all please could... Reconsider my offer with that building. Man, there we go. Back down to kicking out a little bit of pollution a day. Back down to making my people happy again. Hashtag small consumption. Alright, we're going to take a quick little break. And we'll be right on back. Thank you. 
right back into it. All right, let's put this on the fastest mode. Right back in. So we can. All right. Put this on the fast. Man, that looks so nice. The way it was made. Even though I put it down so quickly, it still looks nice and organized. Man, that looks so nice. The way it was made. Even though I put it down so quickly, it still looks nice. What are we looking for? What we're looking for now that we we just want to place more hospitals. That will allow our guys to upgrade to the next tier. That we we just won't place more. That is what we're looking for at this moment. That will allow our guys to upgrade to the next tier. That we we just won't place more. That is what we're looking for at this moment. That will allow our guys to upgrade to the next tier. That we just won't place more. so. If we upgrade, let's just say him already. So let's look at this. You need food. This is the only planet that has food, so we definitely need to be going into space launch. This is the only planet that has food, so we a space launch can be a very pollutional thing. So we gotta watch this. We're we're not doing so hot when it comes to pollution right now. We, we are. Let's just face the facts. We're not doing so hot. We're not doing so hot. We're not doing bad right now, but we're not doing good. So not doing good. So that's not we're good. Not doing bad right now. But we're not doing yeah. good. So. We're not doing good. So that's not so good. That being said, we're going to need up our population just a small amount. Not doing good. That's not so that being said, ever so slightly, right? Population just a small amount. Not doing good. That being ever so slightly, right? Population just. You might be looking at it like, dang, he's really upping it. Well, to up our population, we have to be good. Tier two. You might be looking at it like Because that's gonna give us three population. Right now we're good with food, I believe. No, we're not. We're not good with food. We're not good with water. We're gonna die. Oh no, we weren't looking. Let's uh slow this down. We're not good with water. And let's get this water and food under control. Let's uh slow this down. We're not good with water. And let's get this water and food under control. Definitely looking pretty good right here now. Great tanks, I don't know. I'm just gonna put two more down because that's how many waters we put down. Great tanks, I don't know. Put down one water, so it's two of them. Put two more down because that's how many. Should be good again. Great tanks, I don't know. Put down one water, so it's two of them. We got we got a little bit. We can splurge. Should be good again. We can get them so they're looking really good. Put down one water, so it's two of them. We got we got a little bit. We can splurge. There's I said that we can splurge. Get them so they're looking like we're actually. Going to be spending a lot of stuff. I mean, not really. There's I said that we get splurge. Like we're actually going to be spending a lot of stuff. I mean, not really. Alrighty, so we should be ten over or fifteen. That is great. How about pollution? Not really. Pollution. We're barely there. We're right. We got our foot in the door. That is great. How about pollution? So we already got that pollution center looking good. Foot in the door. That is great. Trying to think of another place we can put a pollution so center. We got that pollution center looking good. There we go. Trying to think of another place we can. Put Here's another strawberry. Be honest. Yeah, I think we're. That's how it's supposed to be. Sending out to the world. I'm not one hundred. How you're supposed to directional, yeah, yeah, or if it right. even matters to have directional. Supposed to be. If anybody does know, please let me know. I'm not one hundred. How you're supposed to directional, yeah, 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 or if it even matters to have directional. Supposed to be. If anybody does know, please let me know. I'm not one hundred. Oh, and that's not good. Hey, I appreciate you all letting me know about the echo. That's definitely something I have to look into. Oh, and that's not good. Hey, I appreciate you all letting me know about the echo. That's definitely something I have to look into. Alrighty, so 413, doing pretty good for population controls over here. Definitely want to get into the spaceship. Alrighty, so 413. I don't even remember where were we. Population controls over. We were designing an area for spaceships. spaceships. I don't remember. So we're doing good with the pollution. Where were we? Population well, that hopefully we helps with pollution. Spaceships. We had a designated area, didn't we? we don't go Maybe we haven't had one yet. We were thinking about that putting one somewhere. We had a designated area, didn't we? Mitch, we, we could just choose right here for uh, our space controls. 
that a designated area? Which well, maybe we, we can just choose right here for uh, our space what? controls. Oh, I mean nanofibers. Ah, every time it gets. Which maybe we can just choose right here for uh, our space. We're definitely gonna be putting a pause on nanofibers. Ah, every time it gets. Nanofibers. Why is it always nanofibers? Nanofibers. It always gets me. Nanofibers. Why is it always nanofibers? Well, that's good. It's still there, but a little softer. But I mean, that's good. Well, that's good. It's still there, but a little softer. But I mean, that's good. That's definitely good. That being said, you guys can always look. How is the vessel? Vela? Oh. I don't even know. How do you pronounce that? V E L L A A Vela? Oh, unless you're talking about planets. Maybe that's what you're talking about. Vela. Here she is. I have not actually really done much to Vela. She stopped at about 680 population. This was the first planet you ever get to play with, and uh, the second I could space travel, I kind of just stopped, and this would be my little area for uh, for population. What I really did here, since this is the biggest planet, I separated everything into little categories. This right here was the start, so it kind of didn't get separated well, population control, but the feed place, all this did. So that way, if I do want to increase on population, I can just come over here. Okay, this guy. Not only is there a lot of warehouses here, but this one will help me increase for my tier two stuff, clothes. And there's one for tools, one for everything. Once I got this thing down to zero pollution, yeah, see that zero pollution? I kind of just let her stay. Then I went straight to this planet, because why not? Why not go to the next one? Now, this one. I almost died on it. Pollution was getting too high, and because of that, my population shot up because the amount of resources I needed was shooting up. Because my little oxalata-looking people, they weren't very happy. Their happiness was like 2%. Like, it wasn't really there. But their consumption was 160. If you notice, I haven't really messed with consumption, and they were taking almost 80 a day. Now they're down to 43. So consumption is getting much better, and this this pollution is also getting much better. It's a slow process. Once this one's under control, I'll start messing with it again. But that's the second to smallest one. And then this is the one we're currently messing with, which is the smallest. But this one will let us get to our tier 3 items. Which is our fields right here. Our soy fields. And that is why I want to get rockets going as quick as possible. So that way I can start sending this off. This little resource right here. Not even this one. I want to send this one. The finished product. To my other plants so they can go tier 3. And then from there we'll see uh, We'll see how everything goes with tier 3. I know there was... A way no, to be able to see what you can get. I don't know, but there was a way to see how much we did not unlock yet. And that oh, what is this? 389. Why is my population dropping? Resources are all good. Must be the hospitals. They don't have enough people, probably. Resources are all good. Nope. Must be the hospitals. And that's another thing. Every time you go up a tier, you just gotta watch out for your previous tiers. Tier one being the most important, which is your food and water. Tier two being your tools and clothes. And then uh, tier three. I'm not too sure. It looks like it's just crumb cakes right now. So uh, with that being said, it looks like they're starting to get peppy or preppy. Before they just needed the basic resources, but uh, right around tier three is when you start needing more fancier things. Ooh, we do not want that guy ain't doing nothing for us. That being said, we're still 30 overpopulation, so we might want to be careful where we put the hands at the moment. That being said, we're still 30 I'm trying to keep everything within the hospital. 
That way when we're ready to pop at least, you know, we'll just upgrade everything over here to tier 2, which we might have gotten most of it. Nah, we haven't got quite all of it. But we're always going to keep looking back at that tool. And that is what we're going to be working on. It's definitely tools. Once we get tools up, we can start getting the spaceships and we can start launching material back and forth on a routine basis. We can use our first planet to send, maybe we're down on, I don't know, what is this, bio, biofill? We could have them just constantly sending some since they're pretty, pretty good with resources. What is this, bio? We could have them just constantly sending something. One good thing I would say is we're building these rather big. If you notice, there's uh the lag's not happening. One good thing I would say is we're building these rather big. If you notice, there's uh the lag's not happening. Like I said in the health center, every time you are short in population. It always takes from the medical center first. That is the first place they're going to drop people. And the next one would be like the mines and then where you can go get rocks. See that? Drop population in the mine. The last of them, as it would seem, would be your food and wood and water. That's the last place they'll actually take from your population when you're a little bit too low. To unlock landing pads up. Hold on. I'm pretty sure this is. No, I got launching. I don't have landing. And that's what we're working towards the landing, hopefully. That way we can safely. So, with the landing pad, it'll allow you to send from this planet all the way over to oh, that planet or any planet and safely land your your launching program which would be right here oh, if we can actually look it'll actually land material safely and you can put it on repeat but if you see it requires a landing pad for you to be able to get there for infinite loop that's definitely for sure in our list for this world this one should be the easiest to go up since we didn't really kill our Ozone layer, which we might be now. Nope, we're still good. Population slowly going back 440. That's only nine jobs over. And considering that we are going to uh, be jumping everybody to tier two for tools, we're going to be needing to get a little bit ready for that. Probably about 20, 25 people. Jumping everybody to tier two for tools. Clothes, I think we're good. Yeah, we're more than good on literally everything but toys. Where is our tool place here? Clothes, I think we're good. Yeah, we're more than good on literally everything but toys. So this being a tool place, it takes one tool. Oh man, we can't even build it. We don't have no fire. We don't have that bio. Man, why do we never have bio? And that guy looks a little bit overworked, that warehouse. So, it could be because our warehouse might be a little overworked. Maybe it's, I mean, it's not too dread, dramatically overworked. So, it also could be that we just don't have enough to be able to do the jobs that they're giving. So... So, first thing we're going to do, because we're going to be adding jobs no matter what, ah, we got to wait for that, is definitely try to help out this guy's work, because we're going to be adding jobs no matter what, ah, we got to wait for that. might be able to pick it up. One good sign to know is right here, your stockpile. When your stockpile starts hitting fives all the time, even three, that's, eh. That's a little, it's a little rough, but fives, it means basically you you guys, you don't have enough people moving. These warehouses, all they do is not only they add a little bit to how much you can hold, I think it's like 20. Nope, it's two. <laughs> Your big houses hold, I think it's like 10 then, or is it, no, five. So not only can you do two more for your resource up here, which don't seem like a lot, but it is a lot. Not only can you do two more, but it moves the material to here, which I'm guessing it just pretty much teleports it all over this planet to wherever it needs to be. Once it hits inside here, it just basically teleports it, which is pretty good, sci-fi. Alright, let me look into one thing real quick. Once it hits inside...
that should fix that issue. Only downside is now you can only hear me, but not the music, which, I mean, I guess it might be fine. So let me know, did that end up fixing it, doing it like that? It should have fixed it. Only problem is no more music now, which, I mean, it is what it is. I would say this thing only has a few tracks, so eventually it does get annoying constantly having the same track go. Like any game that only has those few tracks, like, oh my gosh, Skyrim, I can remember that one. Those got, I mean, those tracks were the same every time. Alright, so we got 20 some jobs, better at least, 20 some jobs available over here in our nice little industrial place. Tools was what the lowest, so let's get tools back. Uh, of course, why would I be able to build it? Because it's not in yellow. Ah, always, every time gets me that yellow. That would help me with the tools, and in my right, yep, it takes this. It takes this to make the piping, which we look good. We'll have to keep track of it to see if any resources that it's burning goes down as well, like the little baby rock right there, the biomass. So we'll see if biomass goes down, which, boom, there it goes. I knew it was gonna go down. Biomass is a pretty good thing, but uh, it definitely goes down pretty easily. And look at that, went one too many jobs. And it hurts the hospitals again. Mm -hmm. You always gotta be careful of the hospitals. Oh yeah, the music does change for every single planet you go to. So I guess you could just keep jumping between the three planets. I would like to hammer out a good plan here. Then once I start sending over resources, go to the next. But with anything unless you have seven hours of music and then switching from there which is it, that ain't gonna happen but any game the music eventually keeps repeating and repeating that is definitely one thing it don't matter what the game is like I was saying Skyrim I can still remember I mean every time you went into a battle it was the same sounds or if it was a dragon or if you walked up into a different place but eventually after many many hours I'm not talking you know playing 15 16 hours I'm talking three four hundred hours you start remembering the exact note of every song all right so population is 460 we're definitely going to be trying to get this to go up this guy right here might be able to help a little bit with that it'll be prepping them for tier two stuff Alright, so we're definitely good good enough to jump all these guys to tier 2, who isn't jumped already. Four eighty. okay, we definitely are making some things now. Right now, biomass is looking like the worst. So, where is it? Bioreactor, there you are. We're definitely going to hit play. Man, look at that. Not enough trees, not enough, a lot of things. So one thing we want to probably do is, I'm pretty sure we have a lot of sleepers, yup. We can now resume, you guys. You guys are good to cut trees. The music loops the way longer in higher tiers. Okay, well that's good. So every time you tear up, you get a little bit different type of music. And with that being said, what what the plans probably are is if you notice the first one, he's a he, he's not he's, he's barely even there. He's stranded and all. He's the tier one. Tier two. Now you're starting to get to the smart people. You see the glasses just like mine. Settlers. Then you get the cool people, the dwellers. These are the ones who like their stain crumb cakes. The little fancy people. So 
resuming all these jobs over here. I think that was all. The only other problem I see is that they're always full. Oh man, I gotta have some kind of fire. I, I gotta have these resources to be able to get the warehouse I need over here. Ah, we'll get her. Man, see, I almost had it right there. Just waiting for that wood. There we go. Now, I know this is going to hurt our tree and our pollution ratio, but it's probably going to write up a lot of things right here and get a lot of trees moving very quickly. Look at that. Pump. I knew it was going to boom the trees. Um, the ozone did forgive us. 0 0.03. <laughs> it forgave us for killing that little bit of trees off. But we can't build too much more before we're going to need something to do with that. That'd be the next thing to go. Bio Crusher, of course. Why not? Well, we got 60 jobs, so we should be able to resume. No, we cannot resume you. How many do you take? 20. You take a population of 20? Dang. Man. I do wish that uh, eventually one day we could choose almost like a priority on what we would like our people to actually focus on. So that way my hospitals isn't the first thing that goes down every time my population drops. I might have, you know, way too much food and be like, you know what, I, you know, I'm making 700 food and I'm only using 20. Why, why not have food go down first for population? You know, just a little bit of a customizing on uh, priorities. Kind of like some games that you can build, you can customize. Oh man, I want to build this, you know, first. Luckily, this is insta build. You don't have to wait for the to build. That allows the game to move a lot quicker. But maybe we can prioritize who we kill off. When the population needs to go. Um, Alright, so we're 40 up now. We should be more than enough to start that plant. I can't even remember what that plant does anymore. But we should be more than good enough. Um, You make these rods that we have plenty of. So I don't see why we should even start you. We're making plenty of it. That is for sure. Bio crusher. So, I need rock. I would much rather stone. Not too sure what you all are doing to stone, but. Oh, we are still good in population. Wow. The quarry takes less people. That is crazy. Alright, how is this all looking? Four. Six. 24 and 20. Alright, so we're still good for a little bit of a population boom for the next one. Not big one, but we can do a little something. This thing's making zero a day. Yep, it's doing pretty good. Rock is slowly going up. That's good. Wood is still good. It looks like what we're consuming is. Bio is good. Okay. Everything is doing good. Atmosphere probably not. No, it is it, it's leveled pretty much. We're just barely pushing off pollution. We have enough for ten jobs worthy. So we can uh we can put another one of these down. Alrighty. Atmosphere, how do you feel now? You're looking good. 0 0.1. Awesome. That means these guys are probably almost 100% happy. Which is the best thing. Alright, so we still have these jobs. We're still, we're going to get to this landing gear. At least launch. Or should we not care about launch until we have these dwellers doing what we need them to do? Decisions, decisions. Well, I guess we could at least get this. 
going, get it started. So these are putting out 0 0.5 a day. And uh, that being said, 0 0.5, I bet you this is like what? Five, oh gosh darn, five. Okay, but we need a net. Oh, I'm starting to see some trend here. All right, but we need five of these. Oops. To be able to do one of the next thing. This is looking very familiar, ain't it? I bet you it takes two of these. Yep. And it takes two of these to make one mil. And then one mil was looking like five and five. And one mil makes one. Okay, so this one, now that we're in tier three, follows the same steps with clothing did, except for it added one more thing. So our thing is looking like five two one one. Instead of five uh what was it? Five two one? It's five two one one. More steps, same thing. Oh, I did not just invade that. Oh man. I'm invading. That's not good. I guess you always gotta watch out where you're putting one build and where you're planning to build something else. Like this is a small planet. I need I'm gonna need as much population as I can. Let's see if there's a quicker way to delete these buildings. No, okay. I was thinking if I hit delete when I click it. Oh yeah, it does work. Okay. Well if I guess if I just push the button quick enough. So I do know there is hotkeys on here that will allow you to build that specific building or delete things a lot quicker. I wonder. Can I put you right in here? No. Okay, so that's like a dried up ocean. It's not going to float. You know, you're always willing to try to see if it will float. So we'll put you here. We got two populations to spare. Well, I think that two population could easily go and collect this. I don't put 10 of these down nice and neatly, but man, this is a cliffside. I think this is as nice and neat as a cliffside can get. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright, this be number 10. Now I have a feeling down the road I'm going to need a lot, a lot more of these. This is the only place that it will send that off. At least this planet and the other planet can both send off for the one thing, but this is the only planet that can do this, the soy field. So I foresee this becoming a very high traffic area in the future. Um, let me put one more down. It never hurts to have extra. Not really. But it will help me with my distancing. I don't want to put this building down and then it's not close enough, you know. The good old things and look at that our population's perfect and these guys ain't collecting too much there it is that's our tier three big thing shift and click oh oh nope I do know you can spin them just by clicking and holding. That's something I think I'm going to have to work on. Yeah, something I'm definitely going to have to work on off camera is trying to place multiple buildings at once. So then we're going to have to do the uh, old fashioned slow way. Which, you know, it works. It's making this world look better. I am shocked, though, that uh, this soy field, you would think it would help the pollution. No, it generates pollution. That's something you got to watch out for is the pollution, how much it generates. 
Because if it's polluting 50, I mean, eventually, look at this, add it up to 4,000. Everything all adds up. So it definitely stacks very quickly and very easily. So bioash. We'll probably put you right here. Now you are wait what? Hold on, we might have to look at it here. I don't think I'm reading that right. It takes ten sand and five to make that. But we can't get sand. Oh man. Anybody else seeing something? Missing the moon. So I think I know which moon has that. This planet right here, look at that, got the sand I need. Yeah. So we go over to the satellite. We can plan a mission, of course. We're going to be sending sand. Where is it? There it is. We're going to be sending sand to this dang planet and this is where we might want a launch pad we're going to be sending the sand from this planet to the red planet to the what is it TNR so to TNR and then TNR is going to be sending stuff back how much can you produce you need 10 sand and I, I can't even send 10 sand Yeah, I do. I will say that this game actually isn't lagging bad. I played, uh, was it Diplomacy is not an option. Now, that game, there was many, many NPCs, so that's a lot of pathfinding that had to happen. And the point in the game was to uh, basically survive as long as you can. I had a pretty good looking base. The whole screen got flooded with NPCs trying to take out my base. It couldn't even load in anymore. It was so many, and nope, game crashed. It was it was fun, and I would like to have seen it go a little further than what it did. And it looks like we're actually building something. We built one. I'm actually shocked we were able to build one. Um, what is this? This is our bioactor that needs sand that this planet don't even have. To be able to build this. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Population. I see you, population. I see you. You do not fool me that quickly. Oh, man. It got me. It got me before I could do something. Oh, God, I love it. All right, where's our level twos? But for this game, considering the amount of buildings I have, I mean, look at all these little oxalados. I have, what, 400 on this one planet? It's doing pretty good. It's handling it really good. And I like that. That way I don't have to give up on a game too early because it won't allow me to play anymore. No, if I give up on the games because I no longer want, you know, burned out, don't want to play it anymore, there's something new out there. So it can handle hundreds of hours. Diplomacy is not an option. Didn't look like it was going to handle hundreds of hours, sadly. Now, we did take care of our tools, right? Yep, and our clothes are taken care of. Food's taken care of. And last but not least, water. Oh, water really is taken care of. Alrighty, so population, maybe 20 over what we need. That's pretty good. Now, where did we put that hidden place? Of course, right here. First thing would be you to be unpaused and upgrade it because why not? Next would be you and then be you. And we're overpopulated. Of course we're overpopulation. Alrighty, so. This, I, I still, I'm going to, have to send another rocket over here to be able to make more. But do we get a fish, fish net looking thing out of it? No. Ah, of course not. And we just need one of them just to make this. 
Then we need two of them for that. Okay, so we're definitely want to plan. Um, we're definitely gonna want to plan a few of launches. Um, the graphics setting. Let me look. Menu. Uh, yeah, I'm only have it on full graphics. I think I have it on high. Um, do 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 do. No, I do not want them to share the path. That might actually activate more. Full screen. There you go, 144 hertz. And 191080 for resolution. Whatever, it, you know, they, they basically said recommend it. So, if you think uh, dying it back will actually help, because I know as this game goes, I'm going to be adding more and more, so the graphics are going to probably want to lag more. Um, sand. That's what we're going to be sending. Oh, you, you you think you're getting off that easy? We got quite a bit we got to build with this sand, okay? Mission. Where are we at? Here. We want sand. Where is sand? Boom. Sand. Alright, that might be enough. That should be pretty close to enough. Let's see where we're at in orbit. Oh, we're actually not too far, so they're going to be able to collect this sand rather quickly. Now I no I don't have enough jobs to be able to start that. I gotta come over here and upgrade some tier ones if I can find any that need upgrading. Apparently you fell right outside the ring. Not once, but twice. Wow. You're very unlucky. You are too. I think that's all of our tier ones are fully upgraded. Well, except for the ones that got missed. Ah, and now I'm going to regret what I'm going to probably try to do, but we'll see how it works. Let's try to, oh, save and gain. Let's try to, we can't even put that there. We'd have to put one of these down. Alright, well we're going to put one of them down, just to put this down. And population went up. Okay, that's good. It is definitely good. I was hoping the jobs wouldn't do it. Um, ultra settings. Oh, well, this one I actually did not see where it would say ultra or whatever. It actually went down to the hertz. So refresh 144 hertz, 60 hertz. It's on 140. And the resolution 1920 out of 1080. So, I didn't see, because some games will actually just literally say ultra. Oh, it is. Right there. Now I'm on ultra. So, let's try to dial it back to high. Maybe that will help. I guess it automatically does ultra. Or how I have it set up is automatically trying to do the best quality. But because of this quantity, you can't get always have the best quality, if that makes sense. I mean, there's quite a bit of quantity going on now. Twenty-two. I'm only three behind, so I just need three more houses. Three more houses, and we are good to go. Notice how I only need like three, but I put down like seven. That's because eventually I'm gonna need more than three. Right now we're pretty good in food. Our water, food. Clothes and tools, everything is looking grand. So now we can come back over here, actually build us some rope, whatever this is called. Really? Production Pio Fine. Ah. So now that we can produce that, finally we're slowly getting to this tier three stuff. We still don't have one net. Dang! We need one net? That's it? You're supposed to make five a day. What are you doing? You made me one. You made me one. Oh, 
come on, after all that saying I sent you, there you go, you made me too. You make me happy now. What the? What kind of pathway is that? Look at how small the pathway is on the right where I can build. And then the one on the left, oh, okay, we, we can build here, but there's no X's. I, I've been following the X's. And I do like how you could drag a little bit off. And what it does is put like a little platform and make it realistic. I definitely do like that. What do you mean there's not enough people? You're like three people short. Oh, man. Look, you can't even make me any nets, okay? We'll put you on pause. You don't even make me any nets. This soot stuff, I don't even know what you're going to be doing to Bioactor. What do you take? Watch watch you take Bioactor, I swear. No, you take these. Okay, so you take the leaves. You're the first one. And I know I need two of you for our population the way it's been built. Still good by 30. All right. Next, we need one soy mill. Of course, it takes rock. You can definitely see these resources intertwining many times. Oh, okay, it don't take rock. It just took rock to build it. It takes 10 of these. Still good on jobs, so maybe we can make the crump cake factory. But we need three nets, and we don't have enough nets. <laughs> ah! That is definitely uh, funny. We need more nets, but we don't have enough. And I'm tired of sending sand here without it being sent back. <sighs> Let's upgrade these people. They've been asking patiently to be upgraded. I know it. I'm just a meanie. I've never listened to them. Maybe with these 40 extra jobs. When we turn on two little baby, baby small buildings, it doesn't send us under. All right, we're still good. Oh, man. Dang. And we're under. We are under by, like, one. Man, 15 employees and 25. That 25 is ridiculous. That is, that's a massive amount of employees in that small little building. They've never heard of the coronavirus, I can tell you that much, because you wouldn't have 25 employees in a small area like that. They've never heard of disease or famine, which which is kind of weird because we have a hospital. Oh, hold on, that's community center. We have a hospital, but it's not like it actually does anything. You know what I mean? Like, you do want hospitals in your civilization games, but usually you'll have somebody who gets sick. Then you can upgrade, like, a little skill tree for famine and all that. We have a hospital. We just don't use it for anything. It's just there. That makes sense. Just, just to be there, kind of like the community center. It doesn't really do anything besides allow me to upgrade my population. It doesn't have an extra factor of what it can do. All right, that being said, we'll send this planet some more sand from our starting planet again. <sighs> gotta love it. No, that's not even right. I got, I gotta go to here. Plan a mission. We're going to this guy. We want some sand again, because why not? Do we even have enough sand? I didn't even notice. I mean, we don't use it on this planet. I get it, but I was just wondering. So, this planet will eventually get sand. Till then, it doesn't hurt for... Uh, for everything to stack up a little bit. What is this? A soy green? Don't know where it's at over here. I don't see it. Oh, here it is on the bottom. So yeah, it doesn't help hurt to get this to start going up. Start stacking up while we wait for the crump cake factory over here. Crump cake factory. They're really happy to have access to healthcare. They're ha they're like. <laughs> <laughs> They're happy to have access to healthcare, but they don't need it. Like, I mean, look at their bridge they build. I guess they don't need healthcare because look how awesome this is. I'm on top of that. Look how close this planet is to the sun. I guess I don't. This is not even a sun. This is a moon. So that's my bad analogy right there. But 
I was thinking that this was the sun. The reason why this was red was because it was so close, it was dried up. But I just realized that this is a planet, and these are just three moons circling it. Man, you can do a lot of future things now that I just realized that, like where you just scroll out one more time, and then you got the whole universe, and then you can have multiple planets, or even being able to have a planet. Even though the game's called the moon, maybe into a future, into a second game. Same thing 2.0. I, I know way too many Call of Duties, okay? So obviously rebranding and just changing a little bit, it works. It definitely has to work because Call of Duty's still doing it. And we get our crumple cake factory. No, we don't. Look at our population. Yep. Oh. Uh-uh. You're not dropping my population. How many people you need? 25. Dang. Dang, bud. Just just shoot my legs out. You want 25 population in that building? You know, once once this is all said and done, I got a lot of things that can go to tier 3. I can have a, a very big army of troops go to tier 3. Once this is all said and done. But until then, it's a pain in a pain in the neck trying to get this all to tier two. It is a giant gas called Argon. So that's a gas. I was thinking it was a planet, and this is just a moon circle on the planet. But I can see how it could be a gas. And isn't gas pretty much stars? I mean, that's what stars are made out of. It's just gas. It's just what type of gas it is would define what kind of, it, you know, what it is. And you said Argon. I thought you were about to say Argon. I would say I well for a living, so I know Argon's very, uh, very good resource, and uh, anything that America knows, they definitely go for the good resources. They'd be over here trying to invade this planet. So, our crump cakes. Can we actually start this crump cake factory? Yes, we're just barely above the population, but we can now make crump cakes, I think, I hope. Oh, man, I didn't even look into the water. Oh, it takes water. I don't like that. It makes sense. It's taking flour, making crump cakes. It needs water. But my thirsty people over here aren't going to be very happy when they're thirsty. I know it. I did not plan this area for the home. So, we're, uh, we're going to throw it. Wait, hold on. What am I doing over here? It's like a half-built city. Okay, let's look. Okay, now I know what I'm doing. don't think it was this area I actually liked. Was it? I guess it was. Now, I suppose I only put water in one area. Oh, I guess it's saving. There we go. I do like the auto saves because anytime this game for some reason lags out, it is great having those auto saves. It's a lifesaver. That's what it is. It's not an auto save. It's a lifesaver. And then it did the emergency one. That was the best. The game lagged out, but somehow you guys knew to save the game the very second before it lagged out. That was awesome. There's no, do you know how many games I've played and it lagged out or something or something happened? I lost hours of progress. Hours. What I lost on here? Maybe five seconds, if that. That is one great thing about this game is if there is something wrong, not only are the developers ready and active to try to fix it quickly as possible, but just that autosave. I mean, you don't lose much progress. They, they want you to keep playing this game as long as you can go. So they're trying to make the best and the strongest. I guess by strongest, I mean like good quality game that you could do that way you keep playing it and enjoying it and then I guess maybe one day they might release DLCs or something and then you'll go and happily pick them up you'll be like man you know what I had 200 good gaming hours on there why not DLC that allows me to somehow travel to this thing right here oh look at that it does swirl up top you notice that it is a gas you can see the smoke swirling if you actually stop and pay attention but maybe tier 7 stuff. I can go to this planet because I have the, you know, the gas masks unlocked. And you have to have gas masks so that way they don't die. 
You know what I mean? So it is built to be great. That is what it looks like so far. It's built to be great. How it holds up, we shall see. But so far, it is pretty good. And I will say it's $10 on the the store. And the $10 is it's worth it. So far, it is worth it. One day, I might actually be able to get to end game gear. And I will say, okay, yep, this was most, most definitely worth it. But until that day, it's going to be a minute. Well, we're looking at our pollution level. We're coming back up a little bit on our pollution. So our happiness is probably going back down. Consumption's going right back up. You know how it is. It's the same thing, different speech. What we're going to do, we're going to throw in a pollution thing right here. Why would I do that? I was about to mess myself up. I was about to put it in a place that I actually want to have housing. Alrighty, so that should have helped. We should be still point two. Okay, it's point six. It might be going down slowly. We're gonna upgrade you to tier two. Get two more people. I don't think you can go to tier two because you're just right outside the range. You will be at your tier for the rest of your life. Sad as it is to say, you will stay. What? I can't build there. You don't like the mountaintop? Okay. I didn't know. My bad. Thought you guys liked mountains. Definitely, definitely thought you guys liked mountains. Now I know. You guys couldn't care less for them. So I don't see us making any more biofibers. We could probably pause those two jobs right there, to be honest. Definitely pause them, because they're not doing anything. This thing's doing all the work, and this thing's making the crump cakes. Look at that, crump cakes. Wow, I need population, and I didn't even realize I can just use my crump cakes that I've been making quite diligently. And tier three, these people. Wow. The realization... It was so slow on me. And now, once we get enough population, we get to see what we unlock. Hopefully, it's the landing pad. That way, I can keep sending stuff over here that I need and keep sending back stuff I don't need. And another place needs. Okay, now that we upped our population just slightly. Food definitely needs to be tar touched. Clothes. And tools. Now that we have upped our population a little bit, we now see that we need to upgrade everything. <laughs> Isn't that great? Okay, so with this still being a uh, not playing. Oh, okay. Well, with this still being an early access game, they were saying that uh, DLCs are not planned at all. Which I mean, that's some gamers will rejoice over that because they feel like if there's a DLC, then it's just missing content. Kind of like uh, if you guys seen Tiny Tina, she's coming out that game this week, and we'll be playing it Friday morning. We're trying to do a uh, 12 hours live stream with it, but. As soon as it comes out, a DLC comes out one month later. It's already been announced, the DLC. And some people don't like that. They're like, man, that's just missing content. They just shaved it off and they're repackaging it. So there we go. We got the new building landing pad. Thank God. I, I was needing it. Oh, I passed it. Man, I need more of those nets. But some people, they just feel like it's missing content that they shouldn't be paying for. And I, I kind of get it. Other people, they they rather see DLCs, so that way, you know, once the game's been played for, ha uh, I don't know, let's just say 250 hours, all of the fun is out. The DLC brings back the game. That is for sure. Sometimes updates bring it back. Man, look at it, like uh, Timberborn. Their newest update was the Iron Teeth people, and it was a whole new thing. It's early access as well, and it brought a lot more life back into it. 
All right, landed pad. I need three more of these. Oh, I just realized my population spike. Okay, so with the population spike, we're going to worry about that more now. Then we're going to worry about that landing pad. So, some people see DLCs as bringing new life into the game. Other people see it as they should have just had it in the game in the first place. It is what it is. You'll never please everybody, I tell you right now. That is for sure. No game could ever please everybody. I mean, I'm sure years later, some people are still mad at Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 for something. I couldn't tell you what, but I guarantee they're still mad about it. How is my warehouse is doing over here? They're doing good. Is that where all my food is? Is here? That's it? This is food? Why does this building look smaller? How are you food? What? What do you get? A different style for food? What? Where did that? Oh, is it the side? I'm looking at the back of it. Yep. I was about to say, we get different style building because I'm a different tier. Nope. I'm just, you know, not smart enough to turn the camera. All I had to do was rotate it. Population still under great conditions. Gray water still under great conditions. Storage should help right there. Pick up some of that slack. There we go. So now they should all be under great conditions. Yes, they are. Wait, wait, what about our pollution? I forgot about our pollution. Okay, we're still good for pollution. We just slowed down quite a bit. Close. Uh, it's a one. One's not bad. Tolls is a two, so really it's close. I just need to look out after. Alright, so we still have 40 jobs. Why is close an issue? So it looks like this warehouse might be getting overloaded a little. Maybe not. Yeah, I think these, these guys... They're biting off more than what they can chew. We're going to just turn you around because why not have buildings facing opposite ways. So, biggest thing though to look at, see this closed three? That's a little high. That one was four. That's a little high right there. You, you want them to always be at one. So I got too much going on in a small area. That's all that's telling me. Clothes could probably be better, but I'm not giving them enough. Enough of a helping hand. Wow. I got a city center right there. Not even five feet and it wasn't enough. So, the city center here. All these extra buildings, maybe it went up. Let's test it. No, it didn't really go up. <laughs> it was worth a try. It was, uh, you know, I just thought they'd produce more. Just magically. I mean, look at all these. They got empty all the time. To keep that up there at 64. Man. Alright, well, let's start backwards. Because we got 20 population. We can start backwards. By starting backwards, we're going to put the end goal here. Then we're going to put two of the goal, other goals right here. The one that pumps it. And then we're going to build these 10,000 little fans because it takes 10 of them for five, 10 of them for two of them for one of them. Or what is it? No, it's five for one for one. Or five for two. No, it would be 10 to two to one. Yep, that's it. 10 to two to one. 10 of these for two of these for one of those. That way our supplies chain doesn't fall behind. Because if this falls behind, the next one does, and the next one, and the next, it's not very good. That's six, before I forget, seven, eight. I'm sure I could do without maybe one, nine. But I just like to keep it all good, because I like to keep my stuff maxed at all times. There's definitely some math you could do with this game, knowing that it takes, this only gives me one. 
Okay, I need five to get two and a half, and I need five to get five. So then you would do ten to get five to get five. And I guess you could put that into fractions. I don't know, but it's a little bit of math you could do, and it keeps everything all nice and neat. So now our close should be up. Yep, look at that. Close went up. Population can boom up. The population booming up. We might be able to do a launch pad. Ah, oh, we still need sand. Of course. Why wouldn't we still need sand? Sand is going to kill me one day. One day it's going to kill me. Alright, where we jump? We jump like 20. That should be enough for the U. To be able to build U. Oh, we, we do want to turn this stuff on. And you see that, 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 oh man, you're trying to boom up in population and that happens. We're good on all fronts. Yep, all fronts are good, even our crump cakes are good. Dweller discovered the need for jewelry. What? Oh man, come on. You're kidding me, right? Jewelry. What is this? Is this a mine for that? Oh no. Man. Jewelry though? Like really? Of course, it takes nets to build it. I can't get away from these nets, man. I cannot win. I feel like I'm so I'm trying to avoid them at all costs, but it just keeps coming back. All these resources just keep coming back. How's my pollution? No, I'm not doing good in pollution. I'm only like 10 people up here, so let's just keep upgrading these guys. Ah, one day we will get it. One day. Where's pollution control? Oh, it was right there. Pollution control. I'm surprised I didn't put it on this side. I actually did. <sighs> Pollution control. Boom. Zero. That's so quick. That's one thing I do like how quick it just boom. Snap. Alrighty. That being said, my uh, my soy and everything's kind of down. I should be stacking, though. I don't understand that. You might want to look into that a little bit. Oh, pollution control. One more of you. Alrighty. Yeah, I could do that. Because my carbon fibers are down. If you notice, I have 66. I'm maxed over here for everything, roughly. Um, I'm not, I can obviously increase all this. But this place is running smooth. It's running like a, a, a nice old machine. So, what we could do to help with that pollution a little bit. Because we're not making enough nanofibers we can export that being said I need to definitely get some sand over there because without sand I can't make the one stuff that broke oh man what, what am I doing but I can't make what I'm going to need for a landing pad so that way this stuff comes back safely and it just keeps going back and forth back and forth and then I don't have to constantly export sand and import crump cakes Uh, da -da -dum. Where can I find it? Oh yeah, sand. We're doing pretty good with everything else, so sending one more thing won't hurt. One more thing in nano. Alright. You notice I just sent a whole bunch of rockets off. 
Obviously, it's closer than I thought because look, all the rockets already landed. That will help this out a slight amount quickly. I don't know why I'm not making enough. I thought I was, you know, two factories worth, but I guess because of the pollution control is stealing a lot of it. If it is stealing, like I think it is, zero pollution? What? This building producer is not affected by pollution, but it does take the nanofiber. Yeah. Stockpile, zero. So, I definitely have to get more nanos because they're not storing it. Oh, look at that. We stored three that time. Huh. But they're not storing it and making it as quick as we need. All right, 650 or 649. What can we jump? All right, we can jump on population a pretty good amount. That being said, I think this is going to... Uh, wrap it up for today episode and uh, we didn't get into the, the tiers I was hoping for maybe next episode one thing I can say that is good is that this planet is, is self-sufficient it's not gonna die just because I walk away this planet ah there it is is very extremely self-sufficient I mean, look at that pollution. We're slowly going down. We're at 12% finally. And I know we're way high on these. Look at that. Double. Double. Almost double. And pretty good. But, <laughs> wow. I mean, we, we have set this thing up. We can definitely start rocking out with a lot of population. It's already been set up to have high population on accident because... You know, when you pollute people, you definitely, uh, you're not making them happy. You see that 91% happiness? They were at like 20% and assumptions that being 91, it was 160. So they were consuming double what they needed almost because they weren't happy because they couldn't breathe. Which is a vicious cycle because now they can't breathe. I need more of them to do less work. Like, you know what I mean? Eventually, you can get it back under control. As you can see, I got that planet back in control. It is doable. You just have to focus greatly on these two resources. Water, food, and then next, the clothes and the tools. You just have to break it down to the first thing. Water. Get good water good. Then get food good. Then get it all good. All right. That being said, we're going to take a quick break, and uh, we'll be right back at it.
No, alrighty. So, let's get back into it. We were letting this fast forward a little bit, go through, while uh, we were on break. It looks like the nanofibers have brought themselves back. I think I was just burning through them quicker than they can make. Another thing is pollution has been slowly going back down on this planet. That being said, crump cakes. How are you all doing? Now we definitely do have a little bit of sand we can play with. We don't have the population nowhere near to be able to play with it, but crumb cakes, we definitely have enough. It looks like tools will be our next concern, but we'll just upgrade to tier 3 until then. It's only going to bump population by 1. Another thing it will allow us to do is when we reach 400, we unlock something awesome. I said bump to tier 2. Oh man. Alright, let's check our, our resources and all. That bump didn't do nothing to food or water, which is more than good. Um, clothes is still good. Tools is a little concerning. Crump cakes is kind of concerning as well. I'm a little disappointed in uh, our crump cake factory over here. We're definitely making enough for this. But for some reason, these two feed mills here, they're just, they're not getting enough. Now that could be because of these plants. I know it's 0.5 and we did all the math. We should be good. But it would appear that we are not. Now that could be they're not getting transported fast enough. Or there's not enough of them. So one thing we look at is we don't see, we do see this guy's a little overwhelmed. Slightly. But we don't see this getting to two. Oh. I guess I can't get to two, I can only get to one. Let's see how long this guy right here waits. It's not that long. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. So we are four more than what we need. Yeah, being four more is, I don't understand it. But we'll see how it comes up. If we can get this to go up and then soy green to go up. Then we can have a flower up. And we can definitely have good sandwiches being made. I don't think there's an issue with production when it comes to the sandwiches. There's definitely an issue when it comes to moving it. I can see there's an issue transportation now. But there is no, no problem whatsoever with crump cakes being made. They're pretty happy, pretty sufficient. Alright, bio. I don't think we can make you guys yet. Okay. Okay, we were able to get it. Any uh, tier 3 people? Any of you guys want to be tier 3? Come join the tier 3 army. There's 300 of you. I can see it. I'm only transforming you slightly. I know most of our population was there. But when we first started, there's a little bit of population right here. Is there a hospital nearby? No, so is that that can't be the hospital. That's the hospital, right? Yeah, okay. So the hospital's hitting them from the side. Notice we're going down by sixes on tier two, and going up by sixes on tier three. Always gotta watch, cause even though we're only going up one population, we always gotta make sure we're good. On our crump cakes, we gotta make sure we have enough crump cakes. Your dwellers developed a new. Oh man, now they're surfing. What is this? The hollow center. What? Man, what does it take? It generates a lot of pollution, don't it? Oh, man. And now it's just like the hospital. It needs its place in the world. <laughs> oh, God. At least it's 60. I think the first thing... Let's look at it. First thing is 30. The next thing is 45. At least this is 60. It's getting better. But guess what we need? We need rope. Ah, you know, 
I hate rope. I hate it with a passion now. We got three of it. What we can do is we can pause the one place now. Yeah, I think he went through the sand that we gave it. We can pause that place now. Um, Where is it? It's over here. I got to follow this long bridge over here. So we're going to pause you for a second since you have made everything you can make. We're going to activate you. We're going to need this rope. I keep calling it rope. It's biofiber. But it is what it is. Here's nanofiber, biofiber. So, bio ash. We got four. Oh, snap. We're going to get more. We're going to get five or so. We need six. Please don't tell me I messed up on my math. No. 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 You gonna produce it, right? Alrighty, so we just got her. We got seven. That's what I was hoping for. It was at least six. I, I knew I sent way too much into this planet. Kinda knew it. Now we got a launch in place. Launch pad. With our population and all. I think we're good. Let's look at our carbon footprint. Ah, back to giving carbon again. Man. Hopefully on tier 3, eventually we can get something that can uh, get rid of more carbon than 0 .01. Or 0 0.01. Hopefully we can. Oh, man. All right, so now we got a landing pad. That is good. But we still can't. We got to relaunch it. So we still need a launching pad. Now I can build it and then quickly pause it until we have the people. All right, so how many people do we need for a launch pad? Please don't be. Gosh, darn, 20. You hit me in the shins again here. 20 is a big number for us. How many did you guys need to launch? Oh my goodness. To land it takes 20 too? Man. Both things take 20. Okay. Let's go on back to our world over here. Everybody wants some crunk cakes. Man, we gotta be at population 690 to be able to successfully do this. Oh man, we don't have no more. Okay, so that's where all of our nano fibers were going. Okay. So the first upgrade took biofilament. It took the bio to upgrade them. This one takes nanofibers and bio. It's alright, we're going we're gonna transport it all. Do I need a launch pad too? Yeah. I figured I probably did. So, since it does take a few, we'll send a few off. No problem. It never hurts. Or seven. We're sending quite a bit off. 714. We sent off quite a bit. Maybe we can upgrade a little bit. And hopefully in rotation, look at that. We're right in the rotation that we can just collect and upgrade. And get that 20 population. No. Because they're eating it up. No. Why? Why dare you eat it up as quick as I'm putting it out? 4,000. All right. Man, we are really fighting this pollution. That is for sure. I mean, I need 10 population to fight more pollution. Then I need... Well, where's our pollution meter? Right here. 
Of course, I need 10 of you. <laughs> I need 10 for that, 20 for this, 10 for that. Oh, man. It's a lot of work for these crump cakes. Definitely need a big population boom. Now, these hospitals are great, but they're not going to give me exactly the population boom I need. I mean, as you can see, it only does it in a certain area. You don't have a hospital fulfillment. So, I think the biggest boom... Well, actually, you need a hospital to get to that next tier to be able to enjoy everything. So, wow. To enjoy the crunk cakes and the jewelry. Now, surf, surfing lets us get into the last tier. I'm pretty sure that's the last tier. There we go. Get that pollution down. You get it, bud. Oh man, that pollution still. There we go. Negative. Fighting pollution again. Ah, <sighs> but I shouldn't be fighting it the way I am. You know what I mean? I shouldn't be barely winning a fight against pollution. I should be really winning it. That's why I'm trying to get everything to tier three slowly. As you can see, we're two thirds of the way. The next biggie is, I'm going to need a hospital somewhere else. I don't know where, but I'm going to need it where it's going to collect a lot of population. Probably not there. Probably here. Let's build our little TP huts. It would be nice if I could go straight to sub level 2 and not have to upgrade them if I want a level two. Like right now, I'm not I'm not in a corner, so I don't need level one. Oh, this is just gonna be upgraded right after, prior. Now I'm in a mountain. That is for sure I am in a mountain. Didn't even realize I'm in a mountain. Now, uh, I'm just waiting for a little bit of time to go by to upgrade these guys. And that gave me 20 population. I think that's what I needed for the launcher, wasn't it? Resume. Cool, what do I need to assemble? Alright, hopefully don't need to assemble anything. Alright, let us make a plan. We want to depart Vita we want that sand ah oh, we gotta be able to send them a launcher anybody realize or a landing pad one planet got it but the other one don't we're about to send them back some of this uh it's nice fiber here <laughs> not fiber but this uh, nets Ah, that means we gotta make nets. I mean, the ultimate goal is to have a surplus on it, so that is the ultimate goal. Alright, is that enough to do a medical center? Call that pretty successful. I think we missed one, but no. What's one? One doesn't really hurt. Doesn't hurt at all, really. So 
Speaking of which, why can I not upgrade you guys? Let me guess, no nano. How did I know there was no nano? So, we're going to put Pauls on you. Get our population looking good. Alright, what's our population? We're almost 100 up. That's good. That is very good. Reason being, is we're about to really go deep into this nanofiber. So it takes a little bit of rock. I think we're actually up here with the nanofiber. One thing could be, is maybe they're just not getting the resources out. Nope, they're getting it out fast enough. Alright, so nanofibers takes a little bit of fire, a little bit of rocks, and a little bit of you. How are rods looking? Rods, they're not looking, they're not looking good. Don't ask me why they're not looking good. But they're not. There goes our rods for them. One big thing we're going to want to do is transportation somewhere. You need nano fibers, of course you do. Everything needs nano fibers. Alrighty. How is that doing? That's a straight fall. Okay. We, we expected it to be a straight fall. We are now going to combat that straight fall. Rocks are a straight fall. We, we expected that to be a straight fall. We are going to combat that now. We're not combating it that way though. Oh my. Can we get it? Oh my goodness, we got her. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, it's a straight fall. We probably should have put it the other way, but you know what? It looks funny. It's pretty cool. It's definitely different. <laughs> Population still good. Okay. Rock should stop biofilm. That's the next one. I knew it was coming. It always is coming, man. It's something you can't run away from. I tried. It don't work. So the next question. How much overloaded are you really overloaded? Not bad, okay. Alright, so that that's coming up. Our rocks is not our stone has not come up yet. Everything looks fine. Even these. They all look fine. That is for sure. One issue I'm well, I see coming. I see it coming. This is gonna be the issue. Besides us running into each other, this is going to be the issue. No way to go anywhere. Alright, I know we polluted this planet even more. We got not not enough population for what I was about just to do. Still good. Still good. Everything is looking good. Always double check. We'll slightly jump this population. It's going to be slow, but then we're going to unpollute the heck out of it. That was the whole point in doing these nanofibers, as good as we are. So that way we can jump all this population up and kill all this tox toxicity in the air. Alright, that's at least 10 right now. And then we're going to resume all this again. Well, we got to give them a landing pad, which means we're going to need rope here. Where are we at in our orbits? Are we close? Oh, we couldn't ask to be any closer in the orbit. You could not ask any more. So we're going to plan to send them a lot of sands. 
Reason being is because they're about to have to send us a lot of rope. Yep, we are getting it slowly but surely. I like how close these launches are going to be. That means you should be getting quite a bit of sand soon. Was it 714? 28 sand. Very, very soon. You're actually doing good on the nano fibers? Well, I sure would like to upgrade them. <sighs> We're going to need what? Two? For that population, we're going to need at least two buffers, but I want to put three or something down. Hopefully we can upgrade this one day. Only does 400. Do you know most of my buildings are doing a lot more than 400, I feel like, when it comes to polluting. The basics of science. What? What is this? Basics of science? Oh man, look at all this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We just unlocked a whole new table. Why do we want to study rocks from other planets? Extract uh, serum gas inhaled from the genesis. Cool, I guess. These tracks are inhaled in. Yes. All right, where do we study astrothermals? Space physics. Why do we want to look at the stars? Oh my goodness. You really like that rope stuff. Look at all that. All that needs nano fibers, rope, rock. You need all of it. Always. But we unlocked science. What does science have to do with these guys though? They just want basic science. Well, why do I want to learn about all these abstractions? I mean, maybe that will tell me in the future what the heck it all does, but at this very second, I have no clue what it does. I just know I need to make this planet my crump cake factory. I can get sand and all and send that back. Oh, you know what? I don't think I need. I think I can make these biofibers already at the other planet. I'm pretty sure I could. Yup. I'm already making sands. Oh, I already have the other side. I do. I just need this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about my population? I haven't done anything to population in a long time here, okay? I don't know what is what. Let's, let's find our population circle. We have one over here, right? Wow, you guys are very unhappy. You guys, you guys look like you need a hospital, to be honest. Oh, we have no rods. Nobody has sent us rods. Dang. All right, well, we'll do this quick assessment right here and uh, just to get our population going a little bit. And we'll come back for the rods. We'll have somebody start sending those things off. And then we'll make the landing pad here. They're going to be happy, that is for sure. Alright, so we're a little over what we need it for population. How are we looking here? Not even close for any of that. That is, that is lovely. Let me speed it up for a second. I, I wouldn't mind you guys populating. 
There we go. Now we can start upgrading you. And we can take you all to tier 3 eventually. Notice it's a pretty good population jump right now. Not bad. And look at that. We got them. We got the biofibers. So we don't need to export you because we're pretty good over there. But we do need a landing pad. And population still looks golden. That is awesome. Now that we got this all taken care of. Crump Cake Factory. Okay, what are we, what are we low on? I know we don't have this running. Just because I can I can have them send it yeah directly. Chrome cakes are looking good. Everything looked like it turned out pretty good now. I still need a few more of these farms here apparently. Other than that, looks like we, we called up. Where's that door to explore we did it, Saul? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm still going with my farm. Alright, there goes a few more farms. Maybe we can get that up again. I'm trying to stack them. Oh, snap. Talk about stacking. You guys really are stacking. Okay. Um. 750. Okay, so can we hit play on you? Oh, man. We can't hit play on the next thing, of course. Why would we? Man, I'm trying not to make them all go tearing up. I'm not trying to tier every single one to tier 3. I, I try to keep a little bit back in case something happens in my tier 3 level. It only affects tier 3 people. Same with 1 and 2. It only affects 1 and 2. That was our pollution. We never fixed our pollution either. Alright, we're going to pause you. Fix our pollution. Where can we put this one? We can put it right here. Just keep stacking it. We'll just keep on going. Yeah. I'm sure you guys are working hard right there. Working hard or hardly working, right? Are you overworked? I was gonna say, what are you doing that you're overworked? You should be giving these guys all kinds of things. Keeping them unpolluting the world. There we go. Just barely over. Just barely cleaned on the planet. And we could just barely do one more, actually. Are you kidding me? I can't put it there. Ah. It was worth a try. It always is. This feels like it's worth it. Notice I have scrubbers everywhere. A little bit of everything everywhere. So what was the point? What am I doing here? I'm trying to keep this for the food area, ain't I? We got the bottom. So what we could do is put you there. We'll pause you before you, you mess things up. I saw it coming. That was quick. Alright, you guys are all in your circle. So we need a new circle. We'll call it this this little place right here, this new circle. That falls within that spot, which is good. Then we can build a few houses around all this area. The 
Build a few houses here. We'll want upgrade one day. And as the population goes up, we'll, we'll allow it this to start. That'd be number one. And then once the population goes up a little bit more, we'll have this go. And we gotta look at our crump cakes to see how much crump cakes we're making. Oh man, we're getting a little closer. It only took 500 of them, so look. <laughs> 500 of them equal 3%. We're at five, so my math's right. We're actually at 600 equals, uh, I guess we could say 500 for three. I don't know. We could really say 600 for 3.5. To get the other 1.5, we'd need everybody to go to the next tier. we need probably 700 population for that one crumb cake factory. Must be doing good for a crumb cake factory, right? What are we? All right, we're at eight ten. So now we can play you. All this the main objective is clean air. All this pollution, some clean air. And this does like six pollution. I'm not too sure what this does. This only does five pollution, and this does fifty. So it's not hurting the world as much as it's going to help. You know, let's let's stop for a second. Let's make sure all of our consumptions are good. Yeah, we're good. Alrighty. Boom, nice and clean. Boom, nice and clean as well. Now, we're pretty good in jobs. Our airflow should be very good. Now, it should be like 2%, right? Mm. Not even 2%. We're close. So close. Okay. Nope. Slight lag right there on that save. It always lags just a slight amount when it saves. Not already. So... How are you guys doing? Because I want you guys to, to really embrace the, the change coming. It looks like you guys just you guys just quite ain't ready to send other planets crump cakes, are you? You just ain't ready for it. Alrighty. What about you guys? You guys are ready to send off for crumb cakes. I mean, look at that. Nano fire. Oof. Man, you guys are good. I mean, I could actually start working on this. Missing the moon resource. I don't know what that's for. It does generate quite a bit of pollution, but I don't know what it's for. Alright, so you take five, I believe. One for one. But you make five a day, but you take it from the potato. <gasps> you don't have the potato? We're on the wrong planet. Man. Who is the potato planet then? That's what I need is that potato planet. Watch it be you. I, I swear it'll be you on it. It's you. You're the potato planet. <sighs> Alrighty. Well, your pollution is looking very good. I'm pretty sure all your materials that you're making. Yeah, you, we can up our population quite a bit. All we're going to do is bring you all to tier 2. We'll bring you to tier three one day. Whenever we can make crump cakes. Because we can't make crump cakes. One thing I might do is just have us ship off this this plant. I think that would be the best. Is my guys make what they need in this world. In that world. 
because it's very limited and we definitely need crump cakes and that's one of the worlds that gives us crump cakes we can't expand our population with no crump cakes at least you guys can work through everything else through it in all these wide open areas And the plants are getting smaller. I'm gonna have to do something a little bit different. All right, we got like 40 population. Gosh darn. We got somewhere we can do this at. Are you kidding me? I need a petroleum deposit. There's no petroleum here. Don't tell me. I gotta go to the red planet again for something? No. You don't do petroleum. Um. This ain't making sense. Please tell me your petroleum deposit. I can't even. Oh, you kidding me. I'm not gonna be able to make this. I see the issue. We might not be able to make petroleum mine. It's the only place you get it from is here. But there's nowhere on this planet. It just doesn't have the resource. Man, there is no way. We'll go check here. Well, maybe, maybe I gotta, I gotta have one of these researches first. What's the point in collecting red clay? I'm sure there's going to be a point later on, but right now, I couldn't even tell you the point. Man, we just bumped all that population up in that planet, and I don't even know what we're going to do with it. One thing I know we're going to do is definitely build a launch pad and all. We don't have that quite yet. On this wide open world here, what is all this? This is all my water and everything. My small baby town, small baby town. There should be a spot where I can build a launch pad and everything that I need for that. Space travel. Oh. I don't know, is that allowed? I'm going to put it with a no. It was worth a try kind of thing. There we go. We got a nice little open spot now over here. I'm going to need somewhere. Are you kidding me? I lost Mortz's mountain. No. We're fighting back for it. What in the world? And then we need a lander, but we can't do the lander without. Oh, don't tell me, honey. It's going to tell me. It's going to tell me. No, I don't have sand here. Okay, we're going to be tell. We're we're going to transfer from our good planet right here. These weaves. I'm tired of hearing we don't have it. <sighs> there it is, biofibers. We need you to go there. We can't even repeat it, can we? We need a landing platform to repeat it. I have a feeling I'm gonna need it more than once. Miles just just sent some. Alright, so He's going to get the landing pad. Eventually. And we should be in good shape. Um, we're at 40. Uh, we might want some more population. Just noticed. 
Uh, we're, we're slightly close to the population limit here. No big or none, just, you know, nice and close. Oh, this is a medical center. Even though I'm upgrading, I'm just upgrading to cool dudes. I'm trying to do a meaningful upgrade, you know what I mean? Another planet full of people just asking to be upgraded. We can double check this. Still looks pretty good. Our consumption is nowhere near what it once was. <laughs> it's at 80%. That is a very good consumption rate. I'm guessing we're slowly polluting our planet again over here. Probably. We are. We're very, very slightly polluting. That being said, we can still upgrade all this. I just realized while I'm upgrading here, ain't really doing much there. It's the medical center. Oh god. We definitely had the medical centers ready. We might as well make all these guys the cool guys. Alright, we gained very little. All this we've been doing, we, we're gaining very little. Where's our cool landing gear and all? There it is. Alrighty. We should, in theory, be good. We have the landing gear. We got it all. So, if we test out... What are we we want this. Well, I don't know how we're gonna get it, but we want it. <laughs> Probably need a research. Uh, essential for all basics of science. Well, first thing we do want is crump cakes. We're we're gonna need to find a little spot right over here to make crump cakes. We're still good by seven population. Oh yeah, that's that's quite a bit right there. And you guys just all want to go to tier three. Where are my tier one soldiers? You guys are here somewhere. I believe if I just keep on going by, I eventually come to all my tier one soldiers. Yes. There you guys are. Aren't you guys so happy to become tier two? Um, we could turn this on so that way you guys can all gain one population there. Miles well. That's a jump. Yeah, look at that. Look at that jump. Good thing I built that prior. But we're almost at 40. Okay, so crump cake factory, here we come. Man, we're starting to get intertwined and all that with everything. I think it's on the back half. There it is. Definitely get intertwined with how things are. We need two of you for one of you. And that should do a population of 600. If we are getting the correct amount of resources. And why are you so high? What are you giving? I know you ain't giving these people anything. They're not doing anything yet. Pollution has gone up, and we never settled it, so we can settle that right now. No, we can't. We need rock. Ah, always needing rock. How much you want to bet that rock? 
is what's taking all my people's ability right now. That's what this guy is pumping out 40 of is this rock. Alright, now that we got rock. Yeah, what do we need it? We need it. We need, yeah, we need a rock for this. The only thing we were down. I don't want to leave this planet as we slowly pollute it. Maybe we can speed up and rocks come back. It doesn't look like it's going to come back. I can't imagine what we're using rocks for. That's just killing its mojo. I mean, it's not even, it's not stacking is what it's happening. Oh gosh, this warehouse really got it going for wood. Alright, now I think we can finally go up on rock. And look at that, our population says no. We're going to put you to a pause. Put you to a pause. I mean, I seize what you're trying to do. Now we gotta find where we were stacking that population. I think it's here. Smallville. And it looks right, but at the same time, it doesn't. No, it's not right. Okay. I know. I'm gonna spun around. You already know how it is. Boom. Now we're going to jump a population slightly here. I'm pretty sure you guys, you guys need medicine. Yeah. So maybe we'll figure out some way to up you. Wow. You guys just need this. The basics. You guys still need the basics. Dang. Alright, now that you guys got the basics, maybe we can upgrade you all. Get you guys out of that tier one. Alright, that's like 60. Gosh. That's quite a bit. We just jumped. Alrighty, so we jump 60. Let's spend a little bit. And how are we going to spend it? We're going to spend it on good old oxygenization. Cleaning the air. That way we can leave this planet and it's not going to slowly die. Oh, I don't like that. Oof, we're so close. We're barely killing the planet. Barely. You know, I got quite a bit of these. Did you know that? I got quite a bit of them. Let's see how we can put this down. Man, I don't like killing that many people off. And doing that just gives me guys some sunglasses. Get some ready for these crumb cakes. You 
kidding me? I can't even get her. Hmm. We're close. I can almost taste victory. And victory is just leveling out with the ozone layer. It's not the best victory, but it's victory, okay? 900 population. Whew. We've really been fighting for this ozone. Now, alrighty. I think with this, we are good. I want to say we're good with ozone. I hope. We leveled. Man, we leveled with it. So we are going it's very, very dramatically slowly, very dramatically slowly, increase We're gonna hope that these six people will allow me to build one more. filter I done hurt my planet a little bit I'm trying to bring it back to life it's looking like I gotta be right about here for that next one boom now we are not killing the planet if we were to leave Alright, so one thing I do want to do is find my space people. Can't really export the one, but I can export the other thing. These, these rods. Oh man, I, I bet you it's Paul's. <laughs> man, you know what? I just need crump cakes. That's all it comes down to. It. I need crump cakes. I got all this ready. I just need them to send that powder over and help my 138 people. Red Planet. I am dependent on you for these dang crumb cakes. Mission Control. Oh, man. Which population? We can't do it. I need, like, 10 people to do it. Right? Yeah, I only need 10. That's 58. I only need one house to be built. Wow. That's a very. This is going to be a sad house. The saddest. Alrighty, what I expect you to do is take some of this soy from here to here and repeat it. Well, maybe what you can give me back is some of these. Is that right? Plan it. Let us plan it and see how it goes. The fields over here and they're always full, so that's good. We're playing the constantly let's see. I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's right. I don't not one hundred on it if that's how you successfully constantly give this guy the crumpets. He gives some crumpets, we're going population boom. And hopefully it's enough. If it isn't, we'll just have to make more. 
I mean, he's only sent seven a trip. So we might want to send a little bit more to seven. That might be a smarter or deal with it. I mean, we, we can support more than seven going out, right? You know what? It's a nice mission, but if I can't launch it, how am I supposed to do it? There we go again. We're going to be invading them now. I don't like invading. Cool beans. I know that might not seem like a lot, but I can at least put one more building down. On top of, you can actually collect a little bit. Oh my goodness. You guys are really collecting for this. Oh man. You guys are fiber uh, ninjas, that's for sure. I thought I could get them down. I can. Alright, where were we at? We're at like 10 population. Cool. That's exactly why I needed to launch this. No, 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 no. We need it more. We need a little bit more. It's not 10. Are we good now? We're good enough that it's not going to say nothing about it. Boom. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Alrighty. Nanofibers are down again. You gotta love them. Just try and protect the pollution in the air. I think you guys ain't quite doing your jobs. You have zero stored. Alrighty. So now this should be getting sent all the way on over. To here. Space route. Okay, cool. And you guys can send back nets for no reason to be honest, but hell, why not? Oh, you guys don't even have nets. Ha! You guys aren't even making any nets. That's funny. Well, I guess they ain't getting nothing back now, are they? Did we even get to make a crumb cake? I don't think we even got to make one. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we're going to slow it down right here and uh, take a quick break, and we'll be right on back.
And we are back. So, pollution looking good here. Alrighty, we should start making crump cakes. Eventually. Problem is, we ain't making anything like that. And I told him to send that back. So I wonder if we can adjust the mission control from here since the pod is here. Maybe not. Alright, so we gotta go back to our little red planet. Awesome, we don't even gotta zoom all the way out to be able to go to the other planet. So. That's not even, that's not even a satellite. I think uh, maybe it got terminated because it knew better. You gotta send that to Saurus. Saurus will send you back some nanofibers. Because oh, Saurus is really good at that, at least. Can we send more than one shipment? We don't have more than one launcher, so if we have more than one launcher, we can send multiple shipments. So that's what we need to do is have multiple launchers. Obviously we're barely struggling now for launchers. Here though we should be good especially once we start getting the crumb cakes. We, we gotta terminate that. I'm guessing I'm not in the right panel. I don't know how you would terminate the uh, mission. Maybe if we go over here, let's look at routes. No, that's the current one that's in route, and it's just fine. This is source. Is that the right one? Yeah, the source is the right one. Wanted to make sure it wasn't my middle plan. It was looking a little bit too good. So you're going to give that to TARDIS and in exchange you want this dang plant. Let's plant it. You should also be getting shipment. Yeah you're getting shipment and you should also be sending it and then they can just keep on going back and forth. Even though we only have one launcher we can still do this. I believe. We're about to see. But with multiple launchers it'd be a lot better because then I could send three times. Oh, look at that. He still hasn't launched. Are you having trouble with nanofibers? No, you're not. Look at this cool feature. Oh. Oh, man. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to collect that rock. There, look at this. This is one of the favorite, you know, little pieces this is just a little extra something that nobody was really thinking about but it's my pod that I launched so long ago look at that thing it's been orbiting and I guess you can fill this up with junk <laughs> if there isn't a proper landing pad I don't know we're looking good on this. Oh, have we been able to make those uh make the food yet? Deliveries should have been made. You know, I never clicked repeatable. You should be planning to send back to this moon. This moon, I'm pretty sure you were planning too, to do back and forth, aren't you? Well, we'll see. All 
already. Let's see if it works. You should see a few things in the route. Look at that. It looks beautiful. Don't know what's with that, but it looks beautiful. It's a sign, it's planning, everything looks good. I might have planned too much, but we'll see how it goes. Oh man, I don't think I went to the right planet, did I? Yeah, I did. Okay. What does it say? I got a rocket coming or it's going. Awesome. If only I can land those that I didn't. I kind of shot into the moon. Look at that. Two rockets, one going, one coming. Awesome. That being said, we should be able to start making crump cakes soon. Oh, you're in pause. I wonder why you're in pause. I guess I don't need you quite yet, but I have you planned. Yeah, that looks about right. Man, this crump cake distribution center. Man, I might want to get some more launchers to be sending. I mean, I got to send at least two to one planet, one to another. Like, I don't know. And even then, they got to process this. So, like, it might make sense to process it more in my planet my home plane over there, the red one, so that way when I send in over seven crump cakes it's not just getting eaten up in this little bit since we can only send over so much. I think for one planet it's fine but for multiple planets, no. And uh, I guess you just gotta learn I guess about this. What? You're not collecting that at all? I don't know. Alrighty. That being said, maybe this will work. Nope, of course not. Why would it? Oh, there we go. That being said, Thank you all for joining in. It's been a six hour little stream. Like I said, I'm going to be shooting for a 12 hour stream Friday morning, Thursday night when Tiny Tina Wonderland comes out on, uh, comes out at premium. It should be, I believe it's Thursday night to Friday because it's released on Friday. So usually it's 12 and one. That's how it works. But, uh, thank you all for joining in and, uh, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, follow, whatever, even comment, and that that's the biggie. Just